<laughs> yeah, you guys already did your uh, your um, uh, rouse did checks. Rouse? Did we? Yeah, I'm okay. looking at the chat. There's a ton of rouse checks, so yeah. Okay. Rouse checks are fine. You guys are hungry. Um, Jeff Bezos gave you a, a mission for the uh, for the uh, find that flash drive at the old Pacific Tower. Um. So, but you guys are hungry too, I'm assuming. So, do you want to do a little bit of hunting first, or do you want to risk what you got? And <laughs> my fingers and a rat comes into my hand. I call a rouse check. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't you more hungry? <laughs> yeah, summoning animals <laughs> requires your blood. <laughs> Unless you want to eat rocket. No. Because <laughs> it did say that if you if you eat your familiar, you you will go to zero. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry? Yep, you're yep. hungry. Like, uh, I'm in a constant eating. For, uh, for <laughs> Unless you, you actually go and hunt a person. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's too much work. It's not. But can you can walk up and grab person? somebody. Yeah, yeah, he can. Mm. It's just animals taste good to him, but to you guys, animals do not taste good. But you can still eat animals, but they don't taste mm -hmm. as good as a human. I see. There is an advantage for him uh, being a gangrel to, to eating animals. I think if I remember correctly, too, one of your perks, Eric, I think yeah. is if you feed on an animal, you gain more, more blood. Then, animal succulents. Yeah, then eating from a from a you human. Take additional, uh, slick another hunger. Yeah, that's right. So he can actually get more blood out of an animal than a human. Um, <laughs> or okay. it it sustains him better, is what I should say. Okay. Um. So. However, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> before you. you guys decide to go out. There is a knock on your door. Mm -mm. Who's there? It's me! Housekeeping! It's me, Thorn! Open it! Uh. Okay, I'll open the door. Alright, so you see Thorn standing before you, and he says, Hey, I, I got something to tell you guys. Uh, let's see, where to start? Uh, <laughs> so, I bugged Jeff Bezos' phone, so I heard that conversation you guys had. And I have a little bit of uh, beef with Jeff Bezos. Um, I used to be one of his IT guys before I got turned. Oh. And I heard that the job he gave you, and I have a little bit of a proposition oh, for yeah. you. I heard what he I said about getting that- I don't think I can that... accept a proposition this early in the season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well there. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't have that one. <laughs> uh, Channeling Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, instead of just directly giving him the flash drive right away, I suggest oh. you hmm. bring the flash drive to me first so I can make a copy of it so that we have a little bit of blackmail on all Jeff Bezos. And he doesn't need to know about this interaction at all. You bring it here, he won't even know that I copied it. We'll be safe and clean. You give it to him, and he wouldn't know the difference. Make more than one copy. Yeah. Okay. All right, can you, uh, let, let's, can you excuse us for a moment? Let's, let's, let's. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> What do you guys think? I don't trust him. I don't know why. I just don't trust him. Maybe it's because he looks like a rat. I don't know. <coughs> Can we do an insight check? Is that real? Oh, yeah, yeah there is yeah, insight. Yeah, there, there's, there's insight, yeah. Well, I mean, he wants us to do it. I mean, there's nothing to insight. But, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, when we first met him, you were kind of, um, oh, you know, not wary of it, like, really wary of him because... Yeah, the way he looks, the things that he wants us to do, like when we 
hacked the PlayStation. Um, yeah, that benefits us. I don't see how this, how giving him. Well, he didn't tell us like why we're we doing this. Like, is he going to give us something for this? I know he wants it because he's out. He's out for him, but yeah, what are we getting out of this if we're doing this for him? I just know we have a USB in the first place. He bugged the phone. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> Were you not listening? No, <laughs> I wasn't. I don't trust him, but I don't trust Jeff Bezos either. <laughs> I mean, Jeff so, Bezos, yeah. I would ask then, what's in it for? What's in it for him? What's in it for us? And yeah. what happened? What happens if Jeff Bezos finds out? What are the consequences of that? We don't get his benefits. I mean, we should at and least look else? and there's, see. And there's I mean, something. He didn't say we works. couldn't look he's on an it. Right? Anarch, yeah, and he's an anarch, isn't he? Yeah. So, and so we and we don't want to, you know, we don't want to have a problem with the Camarilla, do we? Mm-hmm. Well, but the Camarilla told him. I mean, you heard them as we came in. Told him figure it out. The prince told him figure it out. Basically, the Camarilla don't care. It was his problem that he needed to fix. Mm. But what if there is information about the Camarilla and that flash drive? Well, that's what I was saying. Let's 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 take a look at it before we decide whether or not we're going to give it to him. Okay. Either of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll just hang on to it for our own purposes. Well, we'll say we'll accept it, but like we'll get out of it, and then we'll, we'll find it. it. Yeah, let's ask yeah. him what what's in it for us, and then yeah, we'll see what we'll do. Okay. Okay. All right. So you. Yeah. Back, back over. <laughs> yeah. He goes. Hey. So. So. So what's in it for us if we do this for you? Well, I will make you guys' job getting this flash drive much easier. And he he pulls out uh, one of the, the raspberry pies that you you recognize Eric or Jerry and Anna from the first time. He's like, all you have to do is just install this into their servers, and if there's any locked doors or kind of secu- security systems, I can do some hacking and make it easier to find this flash drive for you. Okay. Or you just take this. You actually have a real Raspberry Pi. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of those. <laughs> Why can't I use mine? <laughs> um, okay. Um, all right. That's it? That's all, you know, just some help on getting the mission done? That's all we get? Oh, I guess what are you, I get, what are you little... getting out of this? As I said, blackmail on Jeff Bezos. Like, what are you going to blackmail him for? Like, what do you want from him? Mm, humiliation, for one thing. Revenge. Yeah. You know. <laughs> the usual. Alright, well. Uh, but but for, for your troubles, I will give you a little bit of a bonus here. And he dishes out $200 for each of you. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll do it. We'll grab it. We'll see what we do with it. We'll make use of your device and get that USB drive. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, uh, oh yeah, hold on. I almost forgot. And he pulls out uh, four... <clears throat> earbuds he says this will keep a direct communication between all of us so you can talk to each other you can talk to me um (laughs) not really sure if i want him listening in (laughs) you can switch it off Wait, I gotta, I gotta put on my outfit if we're gonna break in somewhere. <laughs> the hamburger. 
<laughs> uh, but yeah, Jerry and Anna, you recognize these are uh, they're the same ones that he gave you for that one heist. Okay. Um, well, yeah, we'll use it and see if we need it, your help. Don't don't forget, you need to try and find the server room in the building and hook up that Raspberry Pi. You'll have to do you'll have to do that uh, hacking sequence again in order to get me in. Okay, so I have to do that again. Yeah. Do you know where the server room is? Uh, do you have a map layout of this building or floors? I actually do not, but I do have some information as to where the uh, the server room is. It is on the second floor. Okay. Where exactly, I'm not sure, but it, 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 is, it is on the second floor. Aren't the first three floors parking? Hospital. Hospital. I thought I looked it up and it said the first three floors were parking. There's like a garage that's like uh, next to it. Uh, the actual like base of uh, a building. The, it, it's like a normal walk-in. Okay. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. Keep so if I hook this, if I hook this up, this will tell us exactly where the, the USB drive is. Well, you guys already know where the USB drive is. It's just getting up there. There might be locked doors or some security things. Oh, I so can... they'll help us get in. Yeah, I can help you get in. Here, okay. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. All right. Keep me posted. I'll be waiting. Okay, so he leaves. <clears throat> now... Now that you got all that information, you guys want to go hunting first? Yeah, I think I need something to drink. Okay, Eric, you got you got yourself a rat. <laughs> a little little guy comes running <laughs> around the corner. Up, it it wasn't head. Thorn's rat, was it? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <it wasn't. laughs> that would have been embarrassing. That would have been. That Oops. Been. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the the Nosferatu have animalism as well, so that rat belongs to Thorn, so it wouldn't it wouldn't obey Eric's commands. Could, I could try. Uh, you could try. I don't know yeah. how well it will work. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, you have to fight for it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so where do you guys want to go hunting? Outside. Where are we again? We're at Top Pop Records, right? Yes. We're at our apartment. Isn't there an Elysium like across the street or a couple of blocks away? There's the Moore Theater. Uh, that the was a few blocks away. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, you were just there <laughs> the other night. <laughs> okay, yeah. There's um, an Elysium at uh, Mopop, and there's yeah. an Elysium. There was two Elysiums that were near the Smith Tower, the the, the, the two missions. The Bread of Life mission and the Union Gospel mission. Mm. And then That's there was the there. Paramount. Let's go to the Bread of Life. That just sounds good. Bread of Life. You want to go to Bread of Life? <laughs> <laughs> we can go in with the locals. <laughs> <laughs> we need some Bread of Life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus, bread. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that, that's where you guys want to go. Bread of Life? Yep. Bread of Life mission. Uh, this is what it looks like outside at night. It's and... too holy, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Little yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't Come have to worry to about me. what? Come on to me. Is that what it says? I Come think so. Me. Come yeah. unto me, yeah. Yeah. Uh, outside, you do see a, a guard outside, and Jerry, you can see that he is a ghoul. And he, he's just uh, he's guarding the outside there. Um, What's his aura? <laughs> just, just normal ghoul. <laughs> Ghoulish aura? Ghoulish aura, yeah. Ghoul aura. 
<laughs> it says ghoul on top of his head. <laughs> so you guys approach approach him? If we're hungry, yeah. <laughs> he goes, Hello? Are oh. you here to... We're come here to for the... some bread of life. Oh, oh, are, uh, you're, you're, you're homeless? <laughs> In the way, yeah. You, okay, well, the... The the homeless were like, wait, what time is it? You guys woke up around like nine, I would say. Yeah, it's like, well, I'm I'm sorry. The 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 uh, we're closed right now. Lights are on though. <laughs> People. Are- don't 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 worry about that. <laughs> we're here for the bread of life. Okay, buddy, are you trying or to say Elysium? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was trying to determine if you were just homeless people or if you are, you know what. Do we look homeless? I mean, really? Do we look homeless? Do we look homeless? I mean, yeah. Well, we're... I didn't want to say, but... <laughs> uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, yeah, for, uh, for what you're looking for, uh, just go through the store and head all the way up to the, the, the top level. Okay. For what you're looking for? Uh, yes. What? No. <laughs> for what you're looking for? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks, buddy. I just walk in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys go up the the stairs and uh, you come to a door. When, when you open it and, and go inside, you can see that there is a bunch of vampires in here as well as a bunch of uh, uh, humans as well. Uh, there's some there's some music going on and there's lots of conversation and, and such. And just then, uh, <clears throat> you see this vampire walk over to you And she says, Hello. I don't think I've ever seen any of you in my establishment before. My name is Mother Damnable. Who are you? Um, my name is Jerry. And I am a fledgling. Ah, a little one. Mm-hmm. Of course, of course. This is our third night? <laughs> Third night. Wow, you are young. <laughs> how how is it in the new unlife for all of you? Uh, <laughs> what was that? New. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, what did Eric say? <laughs> up and downs. <laughs> oh, up and downs. <laughs> I mean, it's only a third night, but it feels like it's been like a lifetime already. I know. Because we've, had, we've done so much already. I see, I see. Well, since you are new here, um, I will say tonight is on the house for you. Choose any human that uh, looks uh, desirable and take your feeding. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Like to a buffet. <laughs> um, let's see. Just wanna... Okay. So yeah, as I said, there's a uh, there's a bunch of uh, uh, mixture of humans and, and vampires. Um, you saw uh, Mother Damnable. She for you, Jerry, you could see that she was a... Oh gosh, I'm actually forgetting what my character was for her. She, she's a Toreador. Oh, okay. Yeah. So... <clears throat> what do you guys want to do? <laughs> so I'll just go up and grab a sip off somebody. <laughs> Alright. And... <clears throat> Me? Me too. I just think it's. Isn't it just. What? 
just too easy. Too easy. Just, yeah. Just you know, help yourselves. I don't know. She's nice. <laughs> yeah. Nicer than some of the other vampires you've met tonight. <laughs> or the last few nights. <laughs> it's so nice. odd. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. In a way, it is a bit odd. Like, she doesn't know us. We could be, we could be lying to her. Oh, what? You just want to feed? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, I know, but, you know. Just you know, she could be lying. She could be lying to us, but we could also be lying to her. So uh, it's okay. It's okay. No, no, I get it. If it's you know, I I get it. But I I don't know. I just I don't know. Part of the story. I don't trust. Well, I don't trust anyone. You don't trust anyone. Yeah. <laughs> trust no one. Don't call Steve Austin fan. <laughs> <laughs> So, I don't know, I just thought it was too easy. But, if that's... Sure, know, Adrian's just trying to make it easier for us so we can get moving on to the normal quest. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Try not I'll, to read I'll too much into it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... And try not to, so, yeah, yeah so I'll find someone you to go. and you off of Yeah. <laughs> I need That's to find cool. a blonde. I, I need That's to find cool. a blonde guy. I find a blonde guy and I feed off of him too. Okay. So yeah, you you see that there's a, there's a blonde guy mm -hmm. just kind of standing by by himself. Mm -hmm. And uh, Damien. It's very easy. Hi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeez, you just go for that. You just dig. <laughs> hey. He said, "Help yourself." So I'm, I am. So you don't even get a chance. He just looks over at you and he's like, "Well, hi. How's <laughs> I could I could go for it's time to go to sleep now and then <laughs> Shut up and take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anna, how much how much do you take out of him? I have two. I I got two. <laughs> Bless you. <Okay. laughs> um don't do that while you're feeding, otherwise. <laughs> okay, so um, what well, the the safest option is two. Two, two, yeah. Two, so yeah, so I'm good now. Okay, okay. And Damien, you said you you were going for somebody. Yep. Who 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 uh, looks tasty? Okay, <laughs> just. just uh, <laughs> person <laughs> i only need i only had one hunger so i only need like a sip oh okay so you just go up to somebody and you're like hey yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> you look tasty <laughs> how about for you you too what if i just go up some, some behind somebody and just bite into their neck <laughs> <laughs> that's a little rude <laughs> <laughs> i mean they're gonna forget once i bit them <laughs> true <laughs> <laughs> like as, as as if nothing happened. <laughs> true, true. That's how you want to go about it. <laughs> I mean, I'll find someone that's near, like, uh, like away from like everybody else, I guess. Okay. And then just do the deed, and then. Okay. Okay, we'll say that you find someone and you go and feed. How much? How much are you taking off of them? Two. Two. What? What? What is your hunger currently at? Two. Just, uh, okay. Come on. Okay, so doing a normal safe drink will be yeah. Okay, and for you, Eric, any animals around? <laughs> no, no animals. What? But you can you can still get a. Good you don't have to like. Yeah. He doesn't. You know, you don't have to like convince them to let you feed or anything like that. It's an elysium. You just go up and you feed on somebody. But it's animal meat sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> like eating from a cow again. So awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even eating, you're drinking. <laughs> oh, you're not even really eating the meat. Eric, do you need to step outside and, and go find another raccoon? <laughs> no, not another raccoon. <laughs> you're gonna find a seagull. <laughs> seagull. Yeah. Yeah, no, seagulls are dangerous. <laughs> I'll just find a, another human. Okay. Yes. Yeah, there's, there's another one just kind of sitting by themselves in the corner. So, you he goes go and find them. someone with a Friends of Peta's t-shirt on. Oh yeah, <laughs> hey, you want to pet my pet raccoon? <laughs> they go, oh my gosh, it's so cute! Sure, here you go! Oh, it's so, oh, it's so, so cute! Rocket's just 
it looks up at the person and then looks back at you like, why have you done this? Proving the gun rockets. And I took a bite. <laughs> it's like, it's so cute. No, 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 no. Right on to the Pacific Tower. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so the Pacific Tower is... Unless we needed... Is... Mm hmm. You want to go visit Daddy? Maybe. Oh, Unless you did update him. I didn't. You I probably didn't, didn't. I didn't update <laughs> him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. His... his his stock is still low. It's still the weekend. <laughs> That's true. Yes, only been three nights. That's right. So, all right, I'm just gonna. So hold on. We started this on a Saturday night, so this would be Monday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Last day of packs. Yeah, last day of packs. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So you guys go to the Pacific Tower which is across the freeway, and if you don't know what it is, it's actually that huge building that looks like MI6 when you're going down I-5. You can see it's this building that I've switched it to. Former U.S. Marine Hospital building? <laughs> it, dude, when I was researching this place, it has so many different names, and then the one that was most consistent was the Pacific Tower. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> So, you guys arrive at this very large building. Uh, you can see that there's a, a parking garage in, in the back right there. I think this too is a parking garage right here. And then off to the side here is, is kind of the more hospital entrance. And over here is another entrance. And in the very back, there's another double door entrance. How do you guys want to enter? Is this place like a, a last boss dungeon area? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, um, I mean, definitely. who knows? <laughs> we, I mean, if we need to get onto the second floor, which is still part of the hospital, probably go in the hospital entrance. I don't know. There's, there should be many stairs on this hospital, or yeah. many doors. No, uh, probably like probably the back door around away from people. Yeah. Back door around in the back there. Yeah. All right. Do we, we just guide ourselves? Good. Mm -hmm. What's that, Anna? Usually there are a lot of people at the hospital. Why, why don't we just walk in through the front? Or I don't think anybody will notice us. Other well, vampires, a little right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I mean, well, it's a hospital, isn't it? You just yeah. Want to go right in, and we might be able. To, yeah, we may be able to kind of like bluff our way into saying, you know, just like we're there to visit a patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or wait, Anna, don't you? Can't you just like compel them? That, you know that they don't need to see your ID or anything, and just tell them like, yeah, we're here to visit a patient. Yeah. Or if it's just one person or two, I, I can just tell them to go to sleep. <laughs> if it's a patient, call data server. <laughs> Well, yeah, you just need to be able to get on the second floor, get in that da data room, and then that's it. You should be able to get up into the other upper floors easily. But we don't know where yet. That's I know. We can't just walk mindlessly. Someone just ask questions. I mean, should be able to. Let's be. Well, you can mind read, right? Uh, no. No. <laughs> that's a high level skill. Um, could you, Jerry, couldn't you go in just as tech support? Say that you got a call. Couldn't you just say that you got a call that uh, there was something wrong with the server and you needed to go check it out? I couldn't do that. I mean, I don't have any um, sort of uh, manipulation powers or anything like that. Well, then I could go with you and just. Yeah, I can try. Yeah. Just try to get me in, yeah. Like you did for the police station. <laughs> yeah. Or I can make a scene and just pretend that I'm sick. <laughs> I wouldn't be careful about that because if they try to take your vitals, you don't have any. Yeah, they'll check you. Oh, this person's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can just pretend Jerry hit me again. <laughs> we'll call the cops. 
Don't forget, um, Rocket could do like some recon or even a distraction as well. <laughs> there's a bunch of mouses in here, so. <laughs> I could give him a call and see what's up. The, the choice is yours. I mean, I just need to get it up to the second floor and be able to walk around. I mean, it's not too hard, I don't think. Can we climb the wind wall? Uh, Jerry can. Because he's got the spider. Uh, oh, Spider Man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Spider Man. <laughs> you did that ritual, right? You you yep, already I have got the vial. Right I got. Uh, yep, I got a vial. Just need to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> is there a uh, is there like a uh, a directory to go yeah. around anywhere that shows like probably probably you. I'm guessing that means that you like don't have something that could tell us that. So, no. <laughs> where are we going? Anyway, we said, did he say it's like on the top floor or eleventh floor? Remember. He said 11th the floor. the eleventh okay. floor, and it was room eleven something. Twenty three. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Um. <clears throat> This might be a directory at the front door. And there's probably a lobby elevator, right? Yeah. Yeah. You just take it, it to the 11th floor. Right. What you want to go? You want to go straight to to the 11th floor? Oh no no no! I mean, like, once we do the server thing. Mm. Um. Let's go check out. Let's go check out and see if there's like a you know director. Is there a lobby that we can go into? Other than the That's the work. <laughs> other than the hospital entrance? Yeah, there there was the the emergency entrance is is right here off to the side and then the lobby entrance is in the front there and in the back. Alright, let's just go to yeah. one of those and check out the directory. Okay. Uh so you guys walk into the, the, the front door in the there? Lobby. Okay, yeah. so yeah, you you walk into uh, that lobby right there, and it comes to you can see that it's it's unlocked and it's just kind kind of open, and you can see some elevators in the back, and you do see a directory showing uh, uh, like where all the uh, uh, like. Where, where all the the rest of the, like the hospital is and such, and then uh, it's got let's see, uh, yeah, it's got a directory for like the the other floors pointing towards the 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 elevators access go goes okay. up. Yeah. And there's no, there's nobody in the lobby. Yeah, there there's okay. nobody around. Yeah. Mm, let's just like make our way until we find somebody. Let's just go where we need to go. I know. We get free reign until someone. Yeah. Until someone lot, stops right? us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So let's go into the elevator and go, just go up to the second floor. Okay. okay. So when you get into the the elevator, you you call it and it comes down and it opens and you go inside. Uh, you see that yet yeah, there there's the first three floors for various hospital operations and of course the the second one. You do notice that there is like a key card a uh, key card slot that that is on the elevator and strangely enough, you see that the buttons um, go all the way up to nine and then at nine they stop completely. The only buttons up until floor nine. Yeah. So there's no eleventh floor, or is there just no way to get to there? Probably the, the, the public elevator. elevator. Maybe we gotta take the stairs. Get the rest of the way up, maybe. Or there's another private elevator somewhere. Yeah. Once we get into the server room and hack into the hack into the uh, the system on there, uh, Thorn should probably be able to tell us like where we can go, where we can find it, or where we need to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go to the second right. floor. So let's go to the second floor. All right. So it opens up and it's like, bing, and you you walk out and you can see that there is actually a reception desk kind of at the far end o over there, and you can see that there is there's a like a nurse working behind the counter over there, 
and uh, you do see a directory for like various other hospital operations, but the one that catches your eye is one for uh, server room. That okay, way. So we'll, we'll follow that way. We'll go go that way. <laughs> Walk over <laughs> towards that direction. Ignoring the the person down there. <laughs> yeah, just keep walking. Okay. Walk so, like you walk like you know where you're going, yep. and you're meant to go there. And you, mm, no one, will, yeah. no one stops you. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a clipboard around? <laughs> yeah, sure. There's there's a clipboard that's hanging off. Like you can see, they, they they have some of those those beds just sitting in the hallway with with nobody in them. <laughs> yeah, pick one. <laughs> Dress like that with a little kitty T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, he picked it up. I'm just walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a use for a clipboard. Okay. So after after a little bit, you finally come to a door that says uh, server room. You, you can see it. Try the door. It's locked. Who can lock pick? Who had the larceny? Yeah, who had the larceny? Eric, Eric was there. Eric. That was Eric, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you going to lockpick it, Eric? Yep. Okay. Difficulty <coughs> of um, three. But if you don't make it, Rocky could do it. <laughs> hey, where is it? Yay! There you go. So after doing a little bit of fumbling, it goes, Kick! and it opens right up. Just then you hear behind you a voice go, Hey! Who are, who are all of you? And you you turn around and you see there is a security guard. Is it just one person? Yep. Two. Just one. Two? Oh, one. No, just one person. Just one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He walks <laughs> up. He has his hand on his his nightstick and he kind of is slowly bringing it out. He's like, who who mm -hmm. are all of you? Uh, we were with tech support. We're here to uh, work on a server issue. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> Deception roll. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say do your magic, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> Difficulty of four. Anna can step in at That's any time. Saying, like, yeah. uh, go for it. <laughs> Tell him to be like, yeah, what he said. Okay. Everyone says that. <laughs> yeah, what she says. So I'll just look him in the eye and say, it's time to go to sleep, dear. I, what? Ooh. And he just. <laughs> falls right onto the ground. Give him a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> He's out. <laughs> we'll fill that in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so the the door to the server room is wide open, and you can see all the you know servers going. And Jerry, you know what to do. Proceed to do the process of putting in the device. Mm -hmm. Putting it in, and you got to do that that hacking thing again. So you, I, you hook it up. My, eat my earpiece and talk to Thorn. Try hey. not hail him. Hey, hey Thorn. What's up? Server room. I'm in. Okay, okay. You remember this from last time. So, plug it in, and then uh, give me a couple minutes to create the link. And you're going to have to divert any any probes. All right. All right, here we go. So it starts going, and on the, the, the little screen, you see the, the GUI comes up. And then you see... Oh. Uh, what? Sorry about it. <laughs> you see uh, the... the uh, sorry. You see that little arrow coming to that point again, Jerry. So you okay, know so it, it comes execute in. the command. All right, and don't forget, uh, it is a well. Since you had a little bit more experience with this, I'll give it a difficulty of three this time. Huh? Okay. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it was getting really close to, to hitting that alarm, and then it just went whoop. <laughs> when, when deny, back. deny, deny it. Success. <laughs> okay. Thorn says, good job, good job. Okay, just one more minute. And then, sure enough, here comes another one. Huh? Boop. Hello? 
Ooh. Oh, you are fine. You got away in time this time. Your your fingers were going fast, just <laughs> and diverted that. And then Thorn chips back in. He's like, "Excellent, I'm in." Hold on, let me let me bring up some schematics and stuff and see what's going on here. And so, the 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 radio go, goes dead for or goes silent for a couple minutes while you guys are just hanging out there. He's like. And then Thorn comes back in and he says, Hey, I'm getting some really weird chatter on here. I, I don't know what this is. G- hold on, g- give, me, give me another minute. And go silent again. And then he comes back on again and he's like, Okay. Um. Uh. I don't. Oh boy. Uh. I don't know how to tell you guys this. Um, I was I was looking up the schematics for 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 where you're going, and I was noticing something strange. Basically, floors nine through eleven are completely blanked out. But I was also picking up some radio chatter, and oh gosh, uh, oh um, it looks like the Second Inquisition is occupying that building. Who are they again? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> of course, that's what Eric would say. Yeah. <laughs> are you mad? They're the ones that their whole reason for existence is to hunt you and kill you. Oh, okay. They're the vampire hunters. Oh, okay. Oh. Hanging out with animals too much. Yeah. <laughs> brain's going. <laughs> I'm an animal now. Too much feeding on animals. I know. <laughs> so, how are we going to do this? I mean, I, we're not supposed to be, like, mingling with the freaking ex- Inquisition. They're like... Yeah. I don't, okay. I, I do not want to mess with these guys. Right, right. Okay, well... No, how- no wonder the prince... No wonder the prince wouldn't let him in there. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't, that wouldn't help Bezos. <laughs> So, first of all, fuck Jeff Bezos, but is there a way for us to get to the 11th floor? Are you, what do you see? Hold on, hold on. Let, let, get, get, give me a minute, because you guys are safe right now. They they have no idea that you're there. Uh, hold, hold on. <clears throat> so it goes silent again, and then a couple minutes later, it comes back up. He's like, okay, so... Uh, let me say this. Well, from what I can tell from the schematics, the only way to get up there is there's a direct elevator to the ninth floor that will get you into that steel box, basically, that I saw in the schematics. Uh, but I also noticed, going through some more hidden schematics, it looks like there is a underground garage that, that is hidden. Uh, so I'm guessing, uh, what you might need is maybe a key card for that elevator. There, there, there's two, as I can see it, there's two ways of doing this. You can use the normal elevators, but you need a key card from one of the second inquisition officers. Or secondly, you can try to break into that garage because through that garage, there's another secret elevator that goes only to those three floors. I'm gonna go check that security guard and see if he did a key card on him. <laughs> All right, yeah, you you take a look at him and you see that other than like he, some keys and, and his wallet, he doesn't have any anything special like that. So we know how many are there. From second, second Inquisition to to get the key card. Mm-hmm. How many there are there? No, he uh, Thorn Thorn basically just comes back saying that like that entire block is like a black hole he can't see how many people are in there he doesn't have any information as to like what's inside there it's just completely blacked out oh man i don't think i want to go any further than this i don't know what we're dealing with what they're capable of I, i still think it's it's a possibility to to get the flash drive because again they don't know you're there if you just kind of keep to the shadows 
I mean, you know, it's it's late. I, I mean, I don't know how many second inquisition officers are there, but I think I think this is still doable. I think it's still a possibility. Of course, you think it's still doable. You want it. <laughs> You're not here, but you want it. Is there a way to get up there from the outside? So, yes. As I said, the, there's an entrance to that secret garage outside. But, <clears throat> as I said with the chatter, I just heard that uh, the Second Inquisition um, have gotten wind of a young vampire, and they're actually going to send out a unit. This might be your, be your in. You could probably go after that unit and get their key card from them. So should we go through the underground or get a key from one of the guys? Is the unit coming out from the garage? Yeah. Yeah, the schematics show that it's connected to the parking garage outside. I mean, they're just humans. They're not super or anything. No, but they're obviously they're trained to hunt us, so they probably yeah. got and heavily armed. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have my sword that can knock people out, so. Mm -hmm. You're successful with bullets, so at least, but hopefully not bulletproof. Uh... Only if we take enough of them. I mean, I, you know, I can, I can go invisible. True. Or undetectable. <laughs> they don't look at you. Yeah. <laughs> No, as long as they aren't actively observing me when I do it. Yeah, yeah. And I don't make any, uh, you know, loud noises. So what do you guys think? Thank you. What are we going to do then? We, you break into the garage, you go into the garage, you find, get a key card, get into the elevator. And go straight to can can from the uh, from the uh, the elevator in the garage. Can we go straight to the eleventh floor? Yes. You just need a key card because even even if you get in through the garage, uh, those elevators are probably just as secure. I mean, mm -hmm. if that elevator has a key card, the one inside will most definitely have one as well. There could be other people in that garage as well. We could get a key card from them. We don't need to wait for that unit. Well, that's probably like the only way we're going to get a key card. Yeah. I guess we can try to observe them and see how many there are and then go from there. All right. So I guess we'll just head to the garage. I kind of wish we had Nate with us. <laughs> yeah. Kind of help. It'll pretty much help us. But yeah, let's just go see what's happening. You really wanted going. Excalibur? <laughs> yeah, he has Excalibur for crying out loud. Uh, it's okay. Anna's got the well, and he can, and he can, he can, you know. No offense, Anna, but I mean, he can talk his way out. I get it. it. No, I get it. I understand. <laughs> hey, you're going to have to step up to the plate. You got some of those skills, too. Hey, you're both the same clan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so you guys uh, decide to go uh, go out to that garage. Uh, Thorn, Thorn chips in and he says, uh, so my guess is you're probably going to want to follow that unit to see wherever they, wherever they go, and that's where you're going to want to strike because they're not going to just stop out here for you guys to, to, to jump on them. So if you got a vehicle or something, or if you think you're fast enough... Well, they're gonna come. Wait, the vehicle? Yeah, they they only come out through through a vehicle. What? From, from the garage. <laughs> through a vehicle. Yeah, the, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta it's follow the, the unit, the... kill everyone outside outside the building, and then come back in the vehicle. Yeah, get, get the get the key card. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we free the vampire in the process? Maybe. The one they're hunting. You gotta, you gotta see what's going on, yeah. Let's check it out. 
All right. Okay. So you guys want to you guys want to follow him, or you know, maybe we can have like we can stage a protest right in front of the the, the <laughs> exit from the garage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like kind of block the door, <laughs> holding on signs. They won't know. <laughs> And they'll come out of the car and yeah, we attack them. Well, we guess we could do that. I mean, how many could you know? How many are, are going out? I mean, how many people are they dispatching on this? Do we know how many people they usually dispatch for a for a hunt or something like this. Uh, Thor- Thorn chips in saying that um, usually uh, a strike. A strike squad consists of a liaison, a squad leader, and four members. But at the same time, it depends on what the job is. They're checking out a new vampire. It can't be very many of them. Mm. They're probably a little overconfident, too. Are you saying about four people? Could be. It's, it's hard to say. Maybe. Four people, or even six people, I think we could take them. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Sounds dangerous. Well, not everything... Not everything's gonna be easy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys uh, go to that parking garage, and... uh, So, from where where you're standing... uh, where are you guys standing exactly? Are you inside the garage or are you outside the garage? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's say inside the garage. You're gonna be inside? Okay. Yeah. On on the first floor. <laughs> yeah. So on the first floor there, um, we'll say uh, kind of kind of from the north end, not not where this picture is. But like how how it is in real life, the the north end of the garage, the you hear what sounds like something sliding, and you can see that there's a um a, a false wall that like moves, and <clears throat> all of a sudden you see a black Humvee come out from this tunnel, and the wall immediately slides close, and you see the black Humvee exit out. And is starting to to go around. What do you guys do? It's it's getting away. <laughs> Can we like jump onto the top of it? That's possible. You'll have to be fast. <laughs> uh, aren't you fast? Normally fast. Aren't vampires just? Uh, you, have have, you have to have a discipline. Yeah, you have to have the celerity discipline to be really fast. Yeah. I gotta learn okay. that from Thorn. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> uh, throw a rock at it? A big rock? <laughs> there, the there, are car, there are cars there. I mean, if, if somebody knows how to hotwire. Oh, throw a car at it? Okay. No, there's cars <laughs> there. You can hijack a car. No, throw a car at it. That sounds better. <laughs> I don't think any of you are strong enough for that. I have four. Great. <laughs> Is that enough? So, use your... Eric, use your larceny to to hotwire a car. I'm gonna throw the car. <laughs> uh, fine. Difficulty of three. Three. Mm-hmm. They're happy. <laughs> so <laughs> Eric just breaks in, and immediately goes and opens it up, and. Sh- 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 <laughs> Are you hot wiring a Pinto? <laughs> <laughs> Hot wire them throw the car. <laughs> Hot wire to Prius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eric, I didn't know you knew how to hotwire a car. <laughs> Is there more to your life you're not letting us know about? <laughs> I don't know. Vampire <laughs> Mysteries. Oh, since he hotwired it, I'm guessing Eric is driving. <laughs> yeah. Don't have good driving skills. Because I didn't put any points in it. <laughs> Right. We could try anyways. Yeah, that's right. You, you, you just... did, but I think the drive is like if we're going to be doing like some kind of like high speed pursuit yeah. or something. Yeah, we're, not, we're just following somebody. We're not. 
Yeah, you're just following. Doing T bones or anything. Telling them not. I have, yeah. I I do have one pip in drive, so I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny because whenever we went into like packs and carpool, you you would make Eric drive. <laughs> I just said funny point in it. That's all. Uh, <laughs> well, if you want me to point in it, because it's that experience. Yeah, it's, it's fine for for this part. Maybe in the future, but for this part, not okay. not. Not necessary. Because that's a for points in other things. Yeah. Okay, so you see the, the, the Humvee drive out onto this street here, and then it, it's going down, and it keeps driving. And eventually you guys see it actually just come into this uh, this neighborhood o- over here. And you see the, you see the, the, the Humvee stop. And you see two guys... Uh, exit the Humvee, and they are dressed like... Men in black? This. Whoa! Oh! Mm. Call of Duty? I would think they would dress a little bit less casual. Ah, uh, yeah, you see, you see, it's just two of them. They, they get out, and they... They're looking at a, a house that's just kind of across the street there. Um, and I'm assuming you guys are kind of far enough behind that you just kind of skid off to the side or something. Yeah, okay. we're not that close. <laughs> right next to them. <laughs> so uh, you can you can hear them with uh, the they kind of have like a. a uh, kind, kind of electronic voices as if they're on the radio. It said, you can hear overhear them saying like, "So it's just a, just a teenager that got turned." And the guy says, "Yeah, just a young one." Boss says he just wants to go, wants us to go in and just kill it real quick. Should be easy hit and run. It's like, all right, let's let's get this over with. And you see them like cocking their guns and they start walking towards the yeah the okay, house. I ain't having none of that. <laughs> I don't care if it's a teenage vampire or not. I, I'm no killing kids. <laughs> How many was there? Four? Just two. two. Just two guys. Just two? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, you see them start walking towards this house. What do you do? So, so yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use my uh, my silent ability to sneak up on them. Okay. Wait, we're killing them? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> These are in quest, you guys. I'm not killing them all. Um, e- either we kill them or they kill us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's signed up for this anyway, so. They're free reign, too, remember? So you can fully drain them. Wait, take their weapon? <laughs> you, probably. Yeah. Okay. Take Loot everything. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 what's going on here? What's he doing? Oh, Damien's sneak attack. Were oh. you using your discipline, or were you just attacking? <clears throat> oh, I don't have to use... Oh, that's right, they're, they're mortals, aren't they? Yeah. You can make them go to sleep with their sword, too. So. Yeah, I don't need to use a discipline, so... Uh, mm. Just poke them and they sleep. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, with your sword, what you just went <laughs> and did there, as you can see, they're they're fully uh, armored up there. So when you came in for the attack, your sword went and went, Pwing! <laughs> and the guy the guy turns around and goes, "What the, what the fuck?" <laughs> and he turns his his gun on you. What since Damien just attacked, how about you three? What are you guys going to try and do? Uh, is there a know. cougar around? <laughs> <laughs> Someone won. What's that, Anna? You can tell him to go to sleep, but that will be like... Yeah. We want to have some, if you want to have fun, then try and kill this guy. <laughs> go try it. See, see what happens. No, I can... So, try because it. he turns around and he says, what is going on? Yeah. And he's immortal, right? Okay, so can I? Mm-hmm. Alright, so I will. Oh, 
something tells me this is not going to work. <laughs> okay, so I'll look him in the eye and say, it's time to go to sleep. And he looks right back at you and he's like, your spells won't work on me, demon. <laughs> <laughs> wonder what. All right, so I'll take my sword out. <laughs> you going to attack him? Yeah. All right. Difficulty of uh, four. Ooh. <laughs> Use everything you got. Help you upgrade your melee. The Hanjo, the your your trinkets, your trinkets. They don't. They have mental trinkets. She she's That's... got the she's got the big one. The oh. dazzle three. Yeah. Is it strength then? Strength plus melee. Okay. Um. No brawl. Modifier. I have. No brawl, right? No, Brawl is have... if you're unarmed. Oh, sure. Okay. Melee is with weapons. I... <laughs> so I have, the, I have the... I got the Yonk and I got my sword. Yeah. Oh, okay. Three, right? I got three for the sword. Plus three for the sword, yeah. Plus three for the sword, plus one for the for the, for the the necklace. Yep. So plus four yeah. on your modifier. Yeah. And hopefully okay. you get enough successes. Hopefully. Then reroll if you don't. They haven't been good lately. Oh, okay. ah! <laughs> All right, Anna, I'm going to say that you kill him, but you tell me in the all the gory details, how do you kill him? <laughs> There's nothing gory at all. Just <laughs> cut his head off. <laughs> and his, his, his head with his helmet just topples over and falls down and blood yeah. spurting out of the the, the socket. Oh, like in a samurai movie goes <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As he falls over her, and the 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 other operative looks down and goes like, "Mike, uh, Mike. Eric and Jerry, yeah." We're all inside the house? No, this is outside <laughs> in the driveway. Oh. Yeah. Eric or Jerry, what do you guys want to do? I'm in the car. <laughs> you're, you're just sitting in the car. <laughs> <laughs> David just came out and just walk up to the. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to use a gun while I'm out here. Too unless loud. that's okay, but... Up to you. Hmm. Could I grab his attention? Just yeah. divert his attention to me instead of Damien? Yeah. Should I just yell or something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you want to do that? <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay. So you, you, you yell at him and, um, actually, hold on, something to distract him. I guess that would be something maybe mental related, so, or no, social. So manipulation. <laughs> <laughs> manipulation okay. plus persuasion, I guess. Persuasion or intimidation? <laughs> or intimidation, yeah. yeah. Intimidation. Your Your choice. Manipulation and what? Intimidation or persuasion. Your choice. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Which I got neither, but okay. <laughs> they got trinket. And it's a difficulty of four. <laughs> four? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So what is that? What? You guys. Two. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just in the background saying, yelling, hey, you guys, and the operative is not even paying attention to you at all. Because <laughs> he's he's focused on Damien hitting him with a, with his board. <laughs> oh, damn it. All right, Eric. How did you only roll two dice? What did you have, like one pip in manipulation and one pip in intimidation? I uh, have no Pippin Intimidation or Persuasion. You would have fell anyways. I know, I would have fell anyways. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping maybe get a critical, but I don't know how they got that one. You need happen. a four, don't you? you know, yeah, you if he got the critical, that would have been four. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I got out of the car, grab my knife, and throw the knife at that gun. Ooh, alright, so that would be Dexterity plus Melee. Okay. Dexterity, Melee. Wait, I thought if he was throwing the knife, it was firearms. No, no, no. Oh, I, my I gun at him? <laughs> I looked it up. It's, it's, uh. Oh. Yeah. For thrown weapons, it's dexterity plus, uh, melee. Okay. Dexterity, melee, plus two. Yep. 
Hold know. on, did you say you want to throw your gun at him? No! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jerry did it again? Why? Oh, no, sorry, I was, I was trying to get rid of the thing, but it won't go away. I throw my knife like a commando movie. <laughs> the <laughs> knife goes flying, and it goes ka-tink off of the guy's armor. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. yeah. You needed a four. <laughs> four. All right, it's this guy's turn. So, yeah, he's looking at you, Damien, with his gun, and he's got his laser sight right on you. Uh, so do a defense roll. Dodge. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm going to do defense, because I got more stamina than anything else. I got four fifths <laughs> in stamina, so... I can take it. Yeah. Okay. Woo! There you go. So, yeah, he fires He fires his, his gun at you, and it just goes... Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> Like son of a bitch, you was, came was, it a, <laughs> was it a a loud gun or a silent gun? It, it's got a silencer on it, yeah. Okay, so so like, probably <laughs> like a Mac Ten with a silencer. <laughs> Mac Ten. <laughs> All right, comes back to you, Damien. Your turn. Really? Nice. Oh man. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. You know what? No, wait. No, screw Reroll. that. Reroll. 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 Oh, willpower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're late>. uh, <laughs> so it's going like shing, shing, shing. you gonna do spend another willpower? Do it. I'll say do it. Unless you have don't have it now. Oh, there we go. There it is. Okay, are you wanting? I'll, I'll give you a choice here. Are you wanting to go for the kill, or are you just wanting to just knock him out? We need one. No, I'm gonna go for the kill. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going for the kill. He pissed me off. He shot All right. Me. All right. So you succeeded. How how did you kill him? Gory details. You have to eat first. Hold on. <laughs> I'm eating him. <laughs> Let me eat first before I kill him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, so I... Into his chest, and then go straight up. Oh, so you lift him, it's like, straight away! <laughs> and then he just goes limp on your sword. <laughs> All right. So he is dead. They're they're both dead. What do you guys want to do now? Huh? Uh, check who's in the car. Who's left? <laughs> uh, you look in look inside the Humvee, and there's there's nobody else. Really? Uh, do Wait, the kid was inside the house, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, actually, Anna. Uh, uh, as soon as you're thinking that, you look up and you can see, up in the window, you see you see a person looking out, and and he looks like he was watching the carnage. Uh oh, witness, witness. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just in the house that they were going to, though. Yeah, the house. Yeah. So that so that's the kid. Oh, we should probably go talk to him. Mm. <laughs> yeah. See what's up. Okay. I want to loot the uh, bodies first. Okay. <laughs> I want to take the guns and stuff. What are we doing? <laughs> Eric is taking everything. Yeah. <laughs> guns, wallets, cell phones, everything. Yeah. So. Or. <laughs> so, uh, they had two uh, silenced MP5s with uh, laser sights on them. Ooh. And. Don't touch it or mine. <laughs> hey, you were in the car. I was. I'm out the car. <laughs> the The damage value is plus three. Wow. Yeah. I got a machine gun now. <laughs> you got two. Yeah. So six total. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, well, if you're dual wielding, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Neil could do it. <laughs> Um, you also notice that uh, they they do have uh, key cards on them. Okay, I'll take those key cards. Yay. That's what we yeah. need. Yep. How, how much ammo? Oh, not nine millimeters. So I got plenty, but do they got extras? Uh, just like two clips. On thirty, uh, thirty yeah. each at least. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
They shot one, so that would be. How much? How, how many times does it shoot? Shoot, I didn't even look up. <laughs> that. He shot Damien once, so. Uh, yeah. If it's a burst fire, actually, hold on. I actually have something to to figure okay, that let's, out. Let's say three, you know, semi-automatic, yeah, like three. So three. Yeah, three, three, three bullets were expelled. Yeah. Okay, three. Mm -hmm. Thirty-seven. Oh, 50, 50. Um. So yeah, what do you guys want to do now? Go upstairs uh, and talk to the yeah. kid. Okay. <laughs> okay. You just break in. <laughs> yeah, well, while Eric was was looting, I I motioned for the kid to come down. Oh, okay. So the door slowly Meet opens. Him at the door. Yeah, you 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 see you see a young young man. He looks like he's maybe somewhere between fourteen and sixteen. But he could be two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> he goes. Uh, 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 you yeah, okay? Yeah. Who are these guys? What, what what's going on? So, uh, did you just wake up? Um. Can I give him a little wink? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, these guys were second inquisition. Whatever you did drew their attention to you here. So, I suggest oh. you find someplace else. Oh, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, uh, thanks. Kind strangers. Um. Are you uh, are, are you still a fledgling? Yeah. So. Uh, what you mean? Yeah. Um. Uh. Corby. 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 How old are you, Corby? I'm 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 sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. You mentioned twelve in the beginning. No, Albert was twelve. Um. Okay. Um. How'd you get into this mess? Uh, a, a friend of mine. He he's he's a, you know a, a vampire, and he he he, he turned me. I, I, I asked him for it. Yeah. Mm. You asked him for it. Yeah. Kids today. <laughs> what's your friend? Yeah. What's right. your friend's name? Uh, <laughs> Tony. Who? Oh, excuse me. Tony. His name's Tony. Okay. I don't think it's important for the story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally you go stay with Tony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah maybe it was I someone, would suggest maybe you either go stay with you. Tony or uh, head over to Sub Pop Records if you need a place to hide out. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Uh, thanks for saving me. Uh, should we take the Humvee? Yeah. You give him Hal's number and say, whenever you need a ride, I suggest you go to Sub Pop Records right now. Call this number. <laughs> And tell the guy to, to take you to Sub Pop Records right now. Oh, Don't do anything else. Go straight to Sub Pop Records. You get me? Okay. Right meow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, meow. Do what she says, Good. ma'am. Okay, so she, he, he runs, right he now. runs, he, he right runs meow. inside. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wow. So, you guys go uh, do... If you guys are going checking out the Humvee, do a uh, investigation check for me. Well, we just looked. <laughs> you looked, but you didn't investigate. <laughs> uh, is it wits? Oh, sorry. No. Uh, difficulty of two. Oh, Damien already got that. <laughs> you um, got yeah. Intelligence and oh. Awareness. Yeah. Awareness. Da Damien's uh, already got it. Okay. So you notice okay. that it's a it's a normal it's a normal Humvee. It's got like uh, uh, some radio equipment and stuff. But you do notice that there looks like um, kind of a uh, uh, oh shoot, what do you call them? <laughs> kind of like a gate opener button that's like up a garage the top. door opener. Garage door opener kind of button that's up at the top. Oh, cool. Oh, that's easy. Click. Um, yeah. <laughs> are there are there cameras inside the home Uh, no. All right, so we can drive this back to the back to the hospital and get yeah, this into the... our sneaky vehicle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so let's all hop in. Wait. Cool, guys. But do we need to? Don't we need maybe to to dress up as the? 
where where the guys closed and maybe two of you pretend you caught two of us no you you know that's, what i mean this is just like star wars right? yeah <laughs> <laughs> i want to play as Sorry, your highness <laughs> <laughs> i'm han solo <laughs> You got the dummy doubles, you idiots. <laughs> uh, I need to make it look more realistic so people won't ask questions. That, yeah, that's not a bad idea. You guys could try to... Idiots, you've captured their stunt doubles. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we could do that. Yeah? But we gotta hide the bodies, though. So. Don't the bodies somewhere. <laughs> that too. Uh, just throw the bodies into the uh, car we stole. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> just put that. No, none of the clothes or equipment. Just the bodies. Throw, throw them naked into the into the stolen car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. So who, homicide. who's who's dressing up? Well, I'm not doing it. I'm too short. You're I'll the one with the most charisma, though. Oh. Yeah. Um. Okay. So That's gonna look should... weird, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. So at least Anna. Uh, how about you guys? I'll dress up as one of them. Okay. So you and Anna be be the drivers. <laughs> but so you you guys uh, put on that that full equipment and you 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 look like uh huh, those guys. So you got the the helmet, the the, the face masks. Uh, it's also got that. I think you can see it in this uh, in the picture, but that's actually the symbol on, on his shoulder. That's actually the symbol for the Second Inquisition, uh, <clears throat> right there. All right. So you guys drive back to that garage. Who's driving? I'll drive. Jerry's driving this time. <laughs> yeah, I can't drive, so. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, what? So yeah, what do you do with the bodies? Do you, do you literally just throw them in that car? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll we'll torch the car, burn the car. Why? <laughs> just leave them. Just leave them in the car. <laughs> then the police come and find it. They'll be like, "Oh, look at this!" Yeah. Mysterious homicide. Yeah. I don't know what this is? It's just two dead naked we didn't bodies. Feed on them, so it's just two dead naked bodies in a stolen Prius. <laughs> <laughs> on the yeah. So, well, well, one one of their head is chopped off, so that's just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there was that huge freaking spree of dead people around Seattle. <laughs> yeah. But their heads are not chopped. Well, their body parts were chopped. Yeah. yeah. There, there was that one that had no head. You, you, or you found the head. But e either way. So you dump the bodies in there. You guys all jumped into the, the Humvee and drive off. <laughs> so you go back to that garage where you saw the the, the door uh, or that that false wall you know what's funny because mm. I think my background is like looking from the Pacific Tower yeah pretty much yeah oh yeah yeah like, I think that's, that's the kind of yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah that's the curve right there yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the picture. here at the location <laughs> nice all right so all right. yeah you come before that <laughs> wall Jerry and I push the button. And then it goes... And you see a tunnel kind of open up before you. No okay. security. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so you drive in, and you can see that there's a ton of military-style vehicles in this, this garage. And you can see, um, like, yeah, there's Humvees, and there's some some of those uh, bigger transports I'm forgetting what they're called but they're 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 armored armored transports and and such and uh, yeah you you go ahead and park at like one of the uh, <clears throat> one of the empty spots personnel carriers yeah but it's like all black there's no no markings or anything on any of the vehicles they're just painted completely black and in this garage you can see that kind of Far up against the wall, there's uh, a, a elevator over there. Nobody around. Oh wait, uh, yeah, there's an elevator, and there is a single guy that's kind of in this. Um, uh, 
what do you booth? call it? Like little booth? Yeah, little booth. And he he's just there uh, by by himself. And he's he's uh, he, he you can see he's in the second Inquisition armor as well. He's not suspicious. He's just kind of doing his thing. Yeah, he he thinks that yeah you guys came back from mission or whatever. Okay. So, <laughs> park the car. Um, we got the key card, so we just need to get in the elevator. But there's that one guy there. Take take your MP fives too. Don't forget. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be holding them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eric shouldn't be holding them if you if, if you're doing a Star Wars thing here. <laughs> no, we have the guns in it. It's like what is that? <laughs> so we oh, can just kind of walk past this guy, pretending that we do, we're you know capturing these two. Go in the elevator. Yeah. Do I have oh. to be handcuffed? Do they have handcuffs? Uh, yeah. Pretend to be, you can pretend to be handcuffed. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that's one thing Probably I forgot like to mention. Cuffs. You guys, yeah, you guys got zip cuffs. The zip cuffs, yeah. On on your armor. Yeah. It's not like you guys can get out of that. I know. So, <laughs> unless there's holy version, I don't know. Holy zip cuffs. All right. So well. Get you two guys out, and then kind of pretend to escort you into the elevator, I guess. All right, so you you start walking towards the, the elevator. Uh, you go going past the, the booth, and you see the the, the guy. He's kind of checking off some, some stuff on, like, a, a sheet of paper. And he kind of glances up at you, and he says, Unit 5, did you get the kid? Yes, the kid's dead. Good. Uh, what's this about? Who are these people? Looks like there was more than the kid at the house. So we captured these two. Alright, do a deception roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since you, you're you under disguise, I will lower the difficulty to three. From four? Yeah. <laughs> uh... See. Burn up Bell on the first one. <laughs> Don't forget you got willpower. <laughs> so what is it? The wouldn't you have Anna do it? Anna could do it. She could interject and and say. Um <laughs> Sound like a man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, she could come in if she wants to, or else I'll have to roll. <laughs> okay. Um, so, deception is... Sorry. Deception is... Hmm? I'm actually forgetting. Hold on. Deception, you could do... Um, persuasion with manipulation? Yeah, manipulation? persuasion with manipulation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, or even... Uh, Manipulation and subterfuge. Yeah, or subterfuge as well. Whatever you have, like, whatever you have higher. Let me see. Highest. Um, manipulation on persuasion. That's a modifier. <clears throat> And the modifier plus one, just plus one, right? For the so. for the onk. Yeah, because Nate do kept it all the social ones. Yeah. And I can't use the sword for the. Nah. Throw the sword out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got. I forgot to pick up my. There you go. So yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, what do you say to him? <laughs> Whatever you what say. do I say? Yeah, he said, so who, who are these people? We don't know. We have to bring them up to, to um, process them. Oh, okay. Go, okay. go on then. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Good to see you, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of gives you a weird look and... 
É, 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 é. <risos> 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 Right. Go to. Okay, so we bring them upstairs. Yeah. We take the elevator. Use the key card and go up. To go to the. Okay. We go to the eleventh floor. So. Straight up. So hold on. When you go into the elevator, you see that there are three buttons for floor nine, ten, and eleven, and each floor mm -hmm. is is labeled. Um, the ninth floor says. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, the ninth floor, uh, the the words on on the elevator say training and barracks. Floor ten says uh, experimentation lab, and then floor eleven says operations. Well, that doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know we're going up to floor eleven. Yeah. So okay. me and Damien could go. I'll go off from the ceiling of the elevator and climb up there. Now, right. So we don't, because the other he didn't radio in that it was gonna be two vampires coming in. So right. <laughs> it could be free roaming now. While me and Damon sneak in. Yeah, probably do that. So let's do that, Damon. So what floor okay. are you guys wanting to hit? Eleven. Straight up to eleven. Yep. All right. So the the elevator goes uh, all the way up, and you the when the doors open, you can see that the um the the hallways are kind of kind of darkened uh, uh, when you come off the elevator you can see that uh, to your left is more uh, uh, hallways and such but to your right you can see that it goes into like a T but on the T itself you see windows and inside the windows you can see that it's like a huge like operation center in there you can see there's monitors on on the walls and you can see that there's a bunch of different stations and you can see like there's there's uh, uh several people working in in there uh for uh Let's see. On, on on the walls outside the elevator, you can see that it, it gives the numbers for like rooms. So eleven oh one through twenty seven that way, and then eleven twenty eight through like I don't know fifty or whatever that way. Uh, what did De Jeff say about where the flash drive was? Was in a safe or something? A safe. We got the code number already, so just find a safe behind a under a rug on the floor. He did give you a room number. Yeah. Did he? Yep. It What's the room number? One one two six. So we go left. All right. Yeah, head towards that direction. Okay, so both you and Anna are going left. How about Damien and Eric? What do you guys want to do? Anything to crawl in? What? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to cast my Unseen Passage. Uh, you're going to go invisible? Yeah. You're going invisible. I'll stay up, I'll stay up there. You're going to stay <laughs> in the elevator? <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> A vampire walking around in their area. You, you could send Rocket to investigate. Yeah, yeah let's send an animal, not me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, who who wants to go first in these like events, like of exploring or whatever? I'll go first. Okay, so you and Anna, you go down the the, the hallway, and you can see that the um, the lower numbers split off to the left, and the higher numbers split off to the right. Twenty. What, what Eleven was twenty six. Twenty six. Uh, it shows is to the right. <clears throat> Go to the right. Okay, so you're you're walking down there, and um, you can see a door. The one with eleven twenty six has a huge uh, uh, second Inquisition symbol on it. Is there any labels on the door or anything? Uh, it does say uh, Commander's Office. Ah, huh. okay. Can hmm. you tell if there's anybody in the room? 
The door's the door's locked, I assume. I mean, you could try. Yeah. You jiggle the handle, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you jiggle the handle and you uh, you see that it is locked. Can we get Eric over here and unlock it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, Use the earpieces. <laughs> is there is there anybody around though? Uh, there is in the command center, which is near Eric and Damien. <laughs> I'll send Rocket through. Oh, where where do you send Rocket to? The guy says you need a door, door unlocked. So. <laughs> Rocket's going to unlock it. Yeah. <laughs> That's not like Rocket. You, you taught him how to larceny. <laughs> We, we could talk to each other, you know. <laughs> I guess. Uh, sure. Let's see. Let's see if this happens. Uh, so you see, you see a little raccoon come running up to you, you Jerry and Anna. <laughs> uh, you have to pick him up. He can't reach. <laughs> so I gotta hold him up to the door. Yeah. Yeah. He's too short. Is that and... what? Is that what he says? <laughs> yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so we can Eric, we can talk to each other because we all have the earbuds. I, oh, okay. no, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so with this happening, Eric, I'm gonna make this a difficulty of seven. Stop, <laughs> Rocket's a trained professional. I try making him the, wield a gun and shoot stuff. Oh my god, I'm holding a raccoon up to a door. If this works, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> Do your thing, I guess. Seriously, if you passes this, this is. Oh, what do I need for rockets? Same thing you would for yourself. Yeah, for probably. yourself. Just, yeah. yeah. Same, yeah. same thing. Same, same, same. Uh, uh, okay, okay, same thing. Yeah. Same roll. Same rolls. Uh, modifiers. <laughs> <laughs> Two. No. Three. So you see, you see, rocket is is fumbling with with, with the lock, and he just looks up at Jerry and goes. <laughs> <laughs> Did he do it? He's oh yeah, Rocket. I forgot you, you. You have a telepathic link with Rocket, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Rocket saying to you, it's it's not working, boss. <laughs> you it's can going spend it wrong. Yeah, you can spend the willpower if you want. All right, let's go. He down. already did. He <laughs> hit it twice there. He didn't do it again. <laughs> All right, one more time. No. So close. So close. You could, you could hear you could hear like a little bit of of jiggling <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> How, how about this? Since 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 uh, Jerry Jerry is um, helping Rocket by by lifting him, I will give one plus one for teamwork. Okay. <laughs> so close, a little raccoon. <laughs> you can hear it jiggling, and it sounds like he's got some of the locks. But <laughs> so plus one to that last roll. <laughs> plus one to that six, right? Yeah. Wait. You, yeah, you should add another another dice there. It's still the same. Oh, oh yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Let me modify. We won't. We won't count this one. Okay. Yeah. There. There. Yeah. Surprisingly, all of a sudden you hear a click, and you see the raccoon look up at you, and Jerry goes, "Ah!" <laughs> he did it. He did it. Rocket did it. I pet the raccoon. <laughs> Whatever they and, I put, and I put him down. <laughs> Good trash panda. <laughs> you, should get, you should feed the panda, or you should feed the raccoon or something for the water. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, so open the door. So the, the the door opens, and you can see inside there's a a desk. It's it's dark. Uh, there's a desk, and there's like uh, some sinking inquisition banners hanging on the on the walls and and such but other than that it just looks like a normal office a cult so there's no obvious safe in the room yeah uh investigation check uh, anna you can do this too in case he fails okay. both both of you go at the same time yeah, i have my premonition so i don't know if that helps yeah is it uh, uh, intelligence and Difficulty of four, yeah, and plus investigation. Difficulty of four. Anna, 
you <laughs> see in the corner, there is an outline of carpet that looks different from the rest. On the corner? Mm-hmm. Mm. There's no, how many carpets are there? It's one It's one big carpet, but it looks it looks uh, different in, in oh, the corner. Oh, you see yeah. like a... Mm, yeah. Whatever it's called. You just it. see, yeah. You just see the outline okay. looks weird. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I try and see if, if there's another another carpet underneath and try to pull it out. The carpet within a carpet? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes yeah, sometimes they have one on top of the other. You, you, you pull the carpet up and you can see clearly a safe in the floor. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm okay. safe. Alright, so... Did he give us the code to it or was that me? Yes. Yeah. Two, three, nine, six, seven. Okay. So the code in. What happens? All of a sudden, it go, it's go deep, 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 deep. It goes and it unlocks. Okay. Open so it up. I'll open it. What do I see? You see a flash drive sitting right there. <laughs> okay. Right. So I pick it up and then it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> you you got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So I tell everyone. So we have the flash drive. So what do we do now? We we need to get, get back out of to here. the elevator. And yeah, we get out. You guys get out. Back to the elevator. Back to the Humvee. Right. Um, so Jerry, Jerry, and I, and 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 Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. Rocket. Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> we need, we need, yeah, we, we're bring, we bring. Rocket and walk to the elevator. Well, don't hold Rocket to the Batmobile. Yeah. Um, Damien, where where are you exactly compared to Eric? I was still at the elevator. I'm holding the door. Okay. <laughs> are you invisible? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So all of a sudden, coming from the command center way, you see two Second Inquisition guards come around the corner. Uh, with uh, their their guns on their shoulder, uh, walking towards the elevator. Uh oh. From which way? From the command center. So you have the the elevator, you have the hallway where Anna and Jerry are coming from, and then you have the command center with the two guards coming towards. Okay. So I'm just gonna get back in the elevator. <laughs> Stay in the ceiling. Stay in the roof of the elevator. So, so you get into the elevator. <laughs> you just sitting there hiding. <laughs> so, so yeah. When when <laughs> the guards come up, they go like, "Hey, the door's already open." Whatever. <laughs> and they come inside the elevator with you. <laughs> and the the doors close, and they they hit the button for the the, the, the barracks. <laughs> so the elevator's moving. Yeah. Your piece. There's two. There's people inside the elevator. Wait, where are uh, you, Eric? I'm on the ceiling of the uh, the roof of the elevator. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I told you to come up here. <laughs> I don't need to. I mean, they can't see me, so. Well, they I'm look not talking harder. either. So, so he, he, Eric's on the roof, so he's like kind of sprayed on. <laughs> yeah. He's looking down. <laughs> Just, I'm up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the the elevator goes down and. The, the, the doors open and you can see uh, inside on this floor you can see that there's actually much more traffic you see that there's uh, several Inquisition officers walking around and the two guards uh, get out and after a few seconds the, the doors to the elevator close Which are 11 <laughs> <laughs> <Let's go. Ding. laughs> so it goes back up to 11 <clears throat> Gary, you uh, uh, turn turn the corner just as the elevator opens opens up. <laughs> yeah, I was like, okay, so right, I guess let's go. You, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't get spotted, right? <laughs> no, come on, get in here. <laughs> <laughs> we get in the elevator. <laughs> all right, so you all get in the elevator. And yeah. Then hit you, the button you for hit the, the basement. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay basement floor so you hit the basement floor the elevator goes all the way down and uh, as the door opens up you can see that there's actually uh, four second inquisition guards in the garage this time 
and oh. also you see there's a couple of mechanics that that are working on like one of the Humvees as well as the the, the same guard. So the door opens up. What do you do? I'm still in the same room. So. <laughs> are we there? Um, are we there? Is there a way out of this place besides the secret passage? So there's just the garage. Um, are you talking to Thorn? <laughs> or are you just saying that out loud? Just saying that out loud. I see if there's any exits around. So <laughs> down there. There was a back door. No, there. there's the, the, the only. Floor, yeah. There's another exit. Right. There's way more people up there. There's the ninth floor uh, elevator, a, a second elevator that will take you down to the hospital, or there's the garage, secret garage. Is there a the secret elevator. vent? <laughs> we should take the LA elevator at the ninth floor and then get to the lobby or hospital floor or something. Yeah. Hmm. Damien, you're quiet. There's way more people on the ninth floor than there are right here. Yeah. We would be we would be having to go through more people to try and find the other elevator than to just try and go. They can't see me. You guys are still dressed as Inquisition members, so let's get we a just pretend suit. we're taking Eric somewhere. Thank you, know, yeah. That'd be pretty risky. It'd give me a lot of persuasion. Are you sure there's no vents or anything? You could look for vents. Yeah, there should be some like little door access ways in the elevator shaft. Uh, if you want to look at that, Eric, go ahead and do a uh, investigation check. Difficulty of three. I can see like right in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> it's not there. All right. Awareness or investigation? Um, uh, probably investigation because because okay. you're looking for it. With uh, wits. Okay. Put that one back. <laughs> good enough? You don't. You don't see any vents. <laughs> I don't see any. Nope. <laughs> no vents. Well, I'm stuck here. If you want me, ex me escort you out, then we can do that. Right, that's our only other option. So yeah, if there is an exit out here. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. So, I cut. I climb out. Come back down. <laughs> okay. You put the restraints back on Eric. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so what do you guys do exactly? I gave you. I gave you the scene. <laughs> are they? Are the mechanics working on the Humvee that we came in on? Uh, about to in over. Yeah, you see two guys. They they have the the, the hood up. the The vehicle is facing facing uh, you guys, so the hood is the hood is up, and you can see one of them is kind of adjusting the tire. The other one is actually looking inside. And then just four Inquisition uh, guards just talking to each other in the in the middle of the garage there, as well as the guy in the booth. So, so did Eric anybody... and Anna or. Jerry and Anna, you guys can just just purposely take Eric right to the to the Humvee. Mm -hmm. Open the door. I'll climb in real quick, and then you can put him in. You know, struggle a little bit, Eric. Like you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you don't want to die. Yeah. And then they can put you in and drive off. Like okay. I said, walk you know, walk with purpose and determination. And if anybody asks, you know. You've been instructed to take him out and dispose of him. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as you guys start walking, the guy <laughs> in the booth looks up and says, Hey, 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 what's going on here? Our command told us to take this guy out. Out? And out. kill him. Out on the street. <laughs> Where we found him. Why would you need to go and exterminate him there? You could just exterminate him in the lab. We're just well, following orders. That's what they told us to do. That's what they told us to do, yeah. Deception. 
Perception. Perception of four. <laughs> Intelligence and manipulation. I uh, know manipulation plus persuasion or intimidation or subterfuge. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> like, uh, it's very irregular, okay, but whatever. It's falling waters. Okay, so looking to check out a vehicle? Yep. Yep. All right, names? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I was thinking about that. What's Mike? <laughs> One's Mike. Does the, does the suit have like a name tag? <laughs> Can I look at it? Yeah, there, there, there's a name tag, but <laughs> last name only. <laughs> Can I look around and see if there's any names? <laughs> yeah, just just a hurdle. So yeah. why would we need to check out the vehicle? We didn't turn in the vehicle in the first place. <laughs> Ooh. We still oh, have the keys to the car, right? The keys to the vehicle. Yeah. Contradiction. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Contradiction. So just so just let them know. Oh, we've we've still got ours. We still got the uh, the Humvee that we took out, so we don't need to check it out. Okay. Well, next time, turn them in. I'll let it go for now. Sorry about that. We'll do that next time. I snore at the guard. <laughs> Rock. I hit him in the head. How? <laughs> With the butt of the gun. Yeah, dispose of that thing. <laughs> Will do. Drop my yes, right. off. <laughs> so yeah, you you walk to the same Humvee that that you had and remember where you park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you you pull out. Yep. Go go to the tunnel entrance. Hit the button. Yep. All right. So it opens up before you, and you're able to escape clean. But you now have a second Inquisition vehicle. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> it's not a tractor or anything, is it? They should be. be. They should. Yeah, be. It could be. Yeah. We could get Thorn on it to. Yeah. To Thorn take a look to see if it's a little. Yeah, just I'm just saying it's a little suspicious to see a Humvee driving around downtown Seattle. <laughs> it is, yeah. We can just leave it in one of the parking lots. <laughs> yeah. Just go to one of the any parking garage in Seattle and just dump it. Right. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just do that and then kind of call up Hal and take a car back to wherever. So I don't know. Back to Bezel's area, right? Oh, back where to is sub -pop. He? Let's go back to the apartment. Oh, back to Thorn? And what? I, well, we just, I want to see what's on this. We wanted to get a copy of the sun drive. We want to see what's on the disc uh, on the, the the drive first, and then before we do anything with it. Well, Bezel said we don't have to. Before we hand it, before we even hand it over to Thorn, I think we should take a look. Mm hmm. Um. Go buy a Starbucks, and and Anna can compel somebody to let us. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Let me use your computer. <laughs> Hi there. We need to borrow that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that that sounds more plausible. You guys yeah, want to do that? Yeah. All right. Let's well, say you go to the, the the nearest Starbucks and you you see there's some people. There's there's a guy working on a computer by by himself. Anna, this is your scene. He's just like do do do. Do I compel him to give me the computer? Or should I tell him to go to sleep? What do you think? Uh, don't go to sleep. It'll be yeah. suspicious. Yeah. So can I borrow it? Just compel him. Just compel yeah. him to let us use his computer. Yeah. Okay. Just let us use right. It. Okay. He's not even paying attention to you. He's just working. Mm hmm Just going. Compel him. Right. Excuse me. Uh, hello. Hi. Hey. I was I was wondering if you could let if you would let me use your computer for a minute. It's a quick thing. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, sure. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so you got you got the laptop and uh, okay. So we plug in the flash drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So plugging in the flash drive, you see the <laughs> everything that's that's uh, on there. Uh, you can see that there's um, some. <sighs> How to convey this? Um, basically, lots of shady dealings on there. Stuff that would not be considered legal with different companies and, and such, and that kind of riffraff. Should we make a copy just in case? Yeah, always make copies. <laughs> does somebody have a flash drive? <laughs> uh, does, the person have, does, does the person have a flash drive? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Anna. that's the person. <laughs> Anna. Anna? <laughs> you, want, you want to ask the gentleman to give us a flash drive? Oh, okay. Uh, excuse me, do you have a flash drive I could use? Yes. <laughs> he gives you a flash drive. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get okay. you gotta get over this asking for things. You know you're compelling, so you're telling. Me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you like the Star Wars. You gotta be polite. Trip. You know this, these are these are mortals. It's just it's just. Uh, hi, hon. Give me a flash drive. <laughs> yeah, just a man. I was just trying to be polite. <laughs> They're lower life forms now. Right? Yeah. Below. They're your food. <laughs> Do you usually ask livestock. your steak if it's okay? <laughs> Can I eat you? <laughs> <laughs> you look delicious. I'm, I'm... Oh, look at this chicken. It's so nice. Do you mind if I have a taste of you? Thank you. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, so going out to dinner must be interesting, it. Adrian. <laughs> 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 Anna, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, so we get a copy. Give the guy back his uh, his his laptop, and yeah. we'll I, thought we're, I thought we were looking what's inside of it. You did. You already you did, did already. Eric. Oh, <laughs> you need to pay attention, man. <laughs> that happens so fast. Yeah. <laughs> he just said there was like shady business dealings on it. Oh, that's it? Just, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's that's more into detail. Oh. No. There were just records records of you know transactions between you know. Improper insider trading, shit like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds like, sounds like that's it. It's like, yeah. this isn't there. Proof that Amazon sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. Just uh, a s simple description. What's inside the drive? Proof that Amazon sucks. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I don't mind. You know, if this, if that's the only thing on here, then yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care if. Yeah, I don't care if Thorn wants to blackmail him on this. Sh I just want their ben Amazon benefits. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to get a lot of money out of this in a, an apartment. So. An apart <laughs> we each get our own apartment, too. <laughs> yep. All right. So we'll head back to Sub Pop and. Um, see Thorn? Yeah, see Thorn. Let him make, uh, make a copy of it. Okay. Okay. So. Yeah, you arrive back at Sub Pop and you find Thorn. And he goes, Hey! How'd it go, guys? It went well. <laughs> well, I didn't know we were running into this, the Second Inquisition. Me either. Yeah, that would have been uh, nice to know. That was a surprise. Which yeah. I'm going to give Jeff an earful about that one, too. <laughs> He's really secretive about that. Pass. Whatever. Well, yeah, here's the drive. Know. Wait, wait, before giving the drive. Thorn, I got a question for you. Yeah. Uh, can I? Can you teach me a discipline? A what if discipline? <laughs> discipline? Yeah. yeah I, I think I think that's possible. I mean, yeah, you've done you've done a lot for me. Yeah. So uh, do a trade off there for it. Hold on a second. I'm trying to remember the Nosferatu discipline. Discipline is animalism, obfuscate, and potence. Wait. He oh wait. Oh, what's a cook? Cook. Cook oh. had celerity. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I want to. <laughs> Instead, never mind. <laughs> oh, okay. We call that. We call that. <laughs> I thought it was Thorn, but it was Cook. Yeah, it was Cook, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so yeah, you, you hand over the, the flash drive to, to Thorn. And Let him make yeah. a copy. Okay. Just give me a few minutes. And then he goes. And a few minutes pass by, and he, 
he gives you the original flash drive back. He's like, here you go. The money? Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah, the 200. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, he gives you the 200 as well. And, uh, Eric, you wanted to go talk to Cook? Yeah. Okay. So, Cook was down in apartment number two. So, you walk over to, to that room. Mm-hmm. Give it a knock. Knock, knock. The door opens and you see Cook standing there and he's like, ah, hello, Eric. Hey there. Come on. How can I help you? I heard he could do some discipline with celerity. Yeah, yeah. That was one of my my early early disciplines. Oh, I just want to learn it from you from that. Oh, okay. Well, it's going to take a a lot of concentration and stuff, but yeah, this this, this is possible. That'll work, yeah. All right. You do do have the experience point for that, right? Uh, I have 10 right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, basically, you learn a, a, a brand new discipline from somebody out of your clan, and you spend the experience points for it. And you can basically start How many start experience it points do you have to do that? Seven. Uh, current level? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the first the first level will be, will be straight up seven. Going forward, if you want to continue building that tree, it will be seven plus. Because it's an out-of-clan discipline, so it costs more. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even have those print out. I don't even know what that has. Celerity is mostly like uh, speed. Uh, some of the powers it talked about, like you can uh, walk on wires as if it was like normal ground. So you just go like, do you like telephone wires? You complete. You're a raccoon. Balance. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Celerity is mostly speed. I think there's some Agil- other powers. Agility based uh, disciplines. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like a cat. <laughs> or a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Cat raccoon. Whatever. So, as Cook Cook is teaching you teaching you all of this, he, he says, uh, "Have I told you about my history of like how I became a vampire?" No, you didn't. But do oh. we do we have time for that? Yeah, of course we got time. Huh? I mean, you're taking the time to learn this discipline, so oh, yeah, we, gotta, yeah. we gotta learn. We gotta learn all this. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, let's see. So, <laughs> uh, so when before I became a vampire, um, my name w- wasn't Cook at that time. Have you ever heard of the name Edward Teach? No. Yes. <laughs> you might you might uh know that name by uh his persona blackbeard oh wow yes i was blackbeard before i was turned you're that old what i'm that old you know, before before uh you know the the history books said that they captured me and they executed me well they did capture me but on that night of my execution, a man came to my cell and asked me for eternal freedom. And I was like, what? What is that? And he went on to explain what he was. And I went on to accept his gift. He broke me out, turned me into a vampire. The other guy that was in my cell must be the, the one that they hung up because uh, <laughs> I was gone. <laughs> Where's so, your ship? Do you have a ship? Not anymore. No. No. Do you have your treasure? <laughs> no, no treasure. I spent it. Oh. No. <laughs> but yes, as soon as he turned me, I decided to change my name as well. And I turned my name into Captain James Cook. <laughs> I wonder where that reference comes from. <laughs> I forget. With that persona. <laughs> Me and my sire, we uh, we uh, uh, created a ship full of ghouls, and we went exploring the Pacific Ocean. Sounds like that one story. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you you, I'm sure you read the history books about how uh, Captain Cook discovered Hawaii and such. Oh, I think I vaguely remember that. Yeah, I did discover Hawaii. The locals didn't actually kill me. They killed my sire, but I let the history books say that it was me that died that day. 
Wow. And after after they killed my sire, I felt my sailing days were over, and I came to the Americas. And I spent most of my life there, and then I f finally saw there was more of the Western expansion, and I saw that Seattle was getting founded, and I decided to come here, and I've been hanging out here ever since. Huh. Obviously, I didn't want to be known be as friend? the famous Captain Cook, oh. so I just shortened my name to Straight Up Cook. You could have been a prince. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I didn't want to lead or anything. I just wanted to live my, my vampire life how I wanted to. Oh, be free? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. And with that knowledge, you gain celerity. <laughs> I gotta print that out now. Shoot. Can I also be learning that too? You wanna learn it? <laughs> yeah. If you have the experience <laughs> for it, then yeah. It takes I, some time. I get I, yeah I do have enough experience points. So you walked into the room and you were hearing this story and you came and sat down and was like uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I was like oh your interest your story is interesting. <laughs> While drawing getting on the treadmill I don't know what. <laughs> uh, what to learn? What to learn? Let's see. Those, the speed sounds very nice. Yeah, I forgot. I'm trying to remember. So you guys uh, uh, go back to the Smith Tower. You go up the elevator to that floor. You come to the 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 room, and you can see there's a couple of vampires hanging out. And then you see Jeff hanging at the bar again. It only passed a couple hours. Oh yeah, passed the whole yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bezos, I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> oh. My friends, you're back! Friends? Yeah, you're lucky we're back. Uh, you know what we had to go through to get this for you? No. What? <laughs> the what? Second Inquisition. Douchebag. What? That's who took over your old office. What? Are you serious? So don't, don't give me... No, don't, don't give me that. <laughs> that you knew like a that. Coincidence. Yeah. This is... Bullshit. Oh, uh, no, no, believe me, I That's uh, why the prince told you to figure it out on your own. Well, <laughs> fully. Okay, no, no, you, you, you gotta believe me. I had no idea that it was the second Inquisition. I just straight up didn't want to want to go because I didn't want to risk showing my face. I didn't know that the second yeah. Inquisition was there. Insight, insight, insight. insight. <laughs> uh, three. <laughs> Difficulty of three. Who, who has good insight? I'm gonna use wits on that. <laughs> wits, right on the three. So, you can sense that he's an idiot, but a truthful idiot. Hmm. He he I had mean, no I'm... idea. <laughs> Stupidly had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm I'm so so sorry about that. Since it since it was the second inquisition, let me make it up to you. I know I said I was going to give you a thousand dollars. How about two? And and you can give prime. us more than that. We <laughs> could have died there for life. First <laughs> or after life. <laughs> uh Anna, this is your court. Persuasion, huh? Persuasion. Difficulty of three. Manipulation and persuasion. Or or intimidation, because you're mad. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me check the... You can't kill him. <laughs> <laughs> right on the one. <laughs> He's like, all right, all right, all right. I'll give you, I'll give you three. You, you, you convinced me. I'll give you three thousand. Ooh. I, I access to Prime? <laughs> <laughs> And free Prime memberships. Yep. For after Three thousand dollars each. After life. Three thousand each, and you get your own apartment for life. On life. <laughs> On life. <laughs> yeah. And three thousand dollars. Where's my money? Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I like the saltiness you <laughs> you added to that. <laughs> Jeff Papa. Jeff Papa. <laughs> Am I pissing you off, Papa? <laughs> Alright. Are we okay with that? Yeah. 
Yeah. I got almost five grand now, so. No, what are we going to do all this money? <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, I not had to boy. buy anything yet. Yeah. <laughs> we should buy something. We should go, like, Gap or something? Yeah, <laughs> buy yourself. Some well, I mean, now that we have, you know, now that we got the Prime membership and, and an apartment, we need, we're going to need to furnish it, so. Oh, yeah, we could just yeah. get it delivered, right? So convenient. And so, yeah, he, he basically says, uh, yeah, take a look at the, the, the floor plans for the for the Kira Tower and tell me whatever whatever apartment you want, it's yours. The Kiara Towers? Yep. I think it's just Kiara. Tower. Kiara Apartments. Apartments, yeah. Pollenresidential.com. <laughs> .com. I, I need the one with the pet, pet one. <laughs> <laughs> Like a uh, two penthouse. I need two bedrooms. penthouse. Yeah, <laughs> for your animals. You're gonna yeah. build your Ace Ventura <laughs> apartment. I'll make my own. Come to me, jungle friends. <laughs> oh. I actually have an Alfred. Hmm? Do they have butlers? You can hire one. A you could probably can probably hire one. Yeah. Hire a Just make a ghoul. Or just make a ghoul, yeah. <laughs> Don't pay him. You can make a ghoul. <laughs> Nate's definitely not. <laughs> I know. He has to try to get so much ghouls. Again. All right. So uh, I'll, I'll take Penthouse 4009. Oh, there you go. All right. I will get everything suited for you, and I'll mail you the, the, the keys for tomorrow night. Northwest corner of the 40th floor features a three bedroom, three bath home. The expensive open kitchen and living room features a wet bar, gas fireplace, and butler's pantry. The floor to ceiling windows and 250 square foot terrace offer fantastic views of the Space Needle and Lake Union. The master suite includes a dual vanity, separate shower and soaking tub, and a 213 square foot California closet. Wow. The penthouse 3906. <laughs> you like 3906? Yeah. I like the windows. <laughs> Which have to be blacked out. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Well, they got the... I wonder if they have those curtains. Uh, Je Jeff also mentioned that he... Uh, wh whatever apartments you pick, he will modify it for vampires. So, like, the, the windows will be blacked out and such. Or at least have, or at least have some way that they get... Like shielding that comes down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that can be arranged. <laughs> of course it can. <laughs> I don't want the second position attack attacking me. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta barricade that. Thirty nine on nine. Now offering up to four weeks free on penthouse residences. <laughs> so we can just go in there for four, you know, live there for four weeks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Smart home features connected through Amazon Echo. <laughs> <laughs> automated, oh, look! It, they, and they already have automated oh. roller shades. Right. Uh. <laughs> Gotta switch the shades. Electric <laughs> towel warmers. <laughs> what? How's that work? <laughs> Just hangs there and warms? <laughs> yep. Wow. Man. Let's go there and find out. It's making way more sense why it's 23000 a month. Something like that. <laughs> Ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. So you all got your apartments picked out? Yep. Okay. Uh, just then, you notice the sheriff walk into the bar. And he, he comes over <laughs> to, to your group. And he he looks at you, and he has his very creepy looking smile showing his fangs, and says, "How are you all tonight?" You're so creepy. Ooh. What was that, Jerry? You actually talk? Yes, I talk. 
How uh, would you all like to make a little bit of extra money? Uh, we already have lots of money. We got paid by Jeff Bezos. Would you like to make more? How much more? I have a little bit of a bounty hunting that I do. Um, Why need us for that? Want to see how well you fare? Depends how much you're paying. This is what I do for certain vampires that break the masquerade. I go on a hunt for them. But if I hire you, I need their hands returned. Their left hand, specifically, for proof that you killed them. With their severed hand, I pay 1,000 for every hand you bring back. Behind us, that, that person's hand. It could be anyone's hand. Oh, it has an aura, right? <laughs> he just says he can tell. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is he a hand fetish guy? <laughs> there, there's a group of vampires that run the Georgetown Borg. They have been doing some siring without the per prince's permission. They all need to be put to final death. Oh. Since you're living in this city, you should pull your own weight. We do, though. You need to do it better. <laughs> what? Is the prince aware of what you're doing? Yes. And that you were offering it to us? Yes. You tried to offer him before, remember? He said you could go ask uh, the sheriff for yeah, any jobs. Please. If you are interested for tonight, that is. And I got nothing else to do? <laughs> Unless there's something else to do. You guys think you guys want to go do it? Yeah. Mine's sure. well. I want to test out these new powers I got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah I forgot to pick a power, too. Um, okay. I can't do that voice so often, so I'll just <laughs> re reiterate basically what the job is. So, yeah, the the sheriff has offered that um, you go to the Georgetown Morgue uh, Haunted House attraction. Uh, right now, they're basically doing, like, some preparations for October. So, like, it's not officially open right now, but the, the morgue is run by a group of vampires. <laughs> <laughs> and those vampires have been, as he already said, doing some siring without the prince's permission. And, uh, yeah, he will, basically he needs the left hand of a vampire cut off and brought back to him. It has to be the left hand, and he will pay $1,000 for every severed hand you bring back. Of, of the group. How uh, many in the group? The group has... Hold on one second. Uh, uh, the group consists of six vampires themselves, but since they've been siring, the exact number could be three, three plus. Three or more. Of the child's. So, basically, kill, kill the vampires, kill their, kill their childs, bring back their hands, get paid. Murderers, profit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kill the child, kill them. <laughs> <laughs> so they're at the jo Georgetown Mall or the morgue. Mm -hmm. Okay. The escape room there is fun. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe they're vampires. Yeah, makes sense now, right? <laughs> Ooh, we always do it at night. So. I know. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess.
guess okay. I'm ready to go. So I don't know if you guys are yeah. going to do something else. Yeah. Now let's go. Okay. All right. So, yeah, the Georgetown morgue is down in the industrial district. It's probably like maybe a five, ten minute drive from Smith Tower. Um, you guys arrive there, and this is what the outside looks like. Yeah, I don't know if these two though. <laughs> no, no one else. I don't think. I don't think they. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see that uh, outside there, there's uh, two double doors right there, and around, kind of in the alley, there there's another door back there. Um, but other than that, there's there's you don't see anybody outside. So we just walk right in the front door. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of sneaking around. Yeah. I'm just going to walk You just, yeah. what? okay. Uh, you feel that the door is locked. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I can break it down. <laughs> can I try the other door? <laughs> uh, you go around the other side, Jerry, and that door is locked, too. I said, Eric, unlock it. Uh, here I go again. <laughs> I got changed. Oh well, never mind. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that was rock. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that doesn't work. <laughs> there. How much willpower do you have? I use a bunch already on that with rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much. Oh man! Just knock on the door, right? Can I use my blood sorcery? Maybe. For I can use, use my blood to corrode. The, yeah, oh, the acid. Yeah, my acid blood. Okay, was that a that was a a ritual, or was no. that straight up blood sorcery? Just blood sorcery. Okay. Well, what do you have to do exactly? It says it uses a rouse check. Okay, so just a rouse check and no rolls required. Okay. What's the, what's the name of it? Corrosive Vital. Corrosive Vital. Uh, what would it be if I just wanted to break down the door? That'd be strength plus whatever you're using. If you're just using your fists or, uh, or if you're using a weapon. Uh, since it's a door, it would be a little bit harder. The, the difficulty would be higher. Um, but it's still possible. You invite you wanted to kick in the door? Yeah. <laughs> you want to break it down? Okay. Uh, if you're going to break it down, I would give it a difficulty of four. Uh, Jerry, your corrosive thing, it says it doesn't need any rolls. You just do the rouse check and you just pour it on. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's up to you. Do you want to spend, possibly spend blood or... I kick it down. <laughs> he doesn't want to use. You might want to try it. Come on, Jerry. <laughs> All right, we'll use try some it. of your powers. <laughs> you never used one yet. That's the thing. You got to use it. Rousing success. So you don't you go, lose any blood. <laughs> so I just you don't gain of, hunger. I just I uh cut myself and drip blood on it. So it goes, and you see the door handle just melt into nothing and it's now a hole <laughs> <laughs> now you can kick it <laughs> <laughs> difficulty of one <laughs> there you go <laughs> the door opens right up and you can see what looks like um, uh, you can see that there's like uh it, it, it's decorated like a like a haunted house, but in kind of like a uh, uh, a haunted hospital. So you can see like there's a gurney, and it's like the the entrance to like there's like blood, uh, fake blood on the walls, and you can see like there's fake uh, fake arms hanging from the ceiling, and such. 
Who takes the lead? I will. Okay. So you go through, and you can see that this is basically just like a, a, a maze. And as you're 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 walking you're walking through, um, Jerry, you can see um, just up ahead. You see somebody's uh, head poke out, and you can see uh, their aura. And uh, we'll we'll say they're like a bruja or whatever. But you see that aura. Damien can't can't see it exactly because there's like a bunch of stuff hanging hanging in front of him. But you can immediately spot that there's somebody up there that's kind of waiting. Above you, there's a or there's a vampire right there. <laughs> you say above me or in front of me? No, in front, Fr- in front, in front of him, around, in front of, around the corner, in front of you. Yeah. All right, are we just killing everybody in here? Is that is that the plan? Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> guess we're in the kill Ooh. squad. <laughs> yeah. I guess there's no way to talk out of this one. Surprise them. Yeah, you could go invisible, sneak up on him, or whatever. Get the drop on him. I can't go invisible. He's already actively observing me. No, he, he poked his head around, and then he, he poked back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nah. I'm just gonna go run over. Gonna... Run over. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you run around and you, you pull the you, sword you... out. Pull the sword out and let's yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> so you pull turn the corner out. and you see there's there's a a a female uh, standing there. She she's got she's got like a lead pipe, and she sees you huh? and she goes. <laughs> you attack. Sure. Okay. <laughs> uh, difficulty of three. Hmm. Ooh. <laughs> so do you go straight for the 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 head chopping? Yep. Okay. Don't so worry, you cut the head off. Don't forget. Yeah. Don't forget to do yeah. that. You guys could probably do that afterwards. So no, you can't. No, you can't. If you cut the head off, their de- their bodies is ass. Oh yeah. Think about this. This is wait. your conscious speaking. Yeah. How do you wanna? How do you yeah. wanna? Wait, wait, does that is that really like their whole body? If you cut a piece of their body and then cut their head off, they're... yeah. You can cut off a piece of their their body, and that piece will stay intact. But if you sever their head, bringing them to final death, then their entire body just goes to ash. What's connected to them? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll uh, I'll cut off her hands, holding the <laughs> holding the pipe. Just cut off the hands. So she's oh. like, she goes, ah, and you just go. <laughs> both both hands okay. fall on the floor. <laughs> she's like, ah, blood blood splurting out. <laughs> Like, you cut off my hands, you bitch! <laughs> and then can I come through and, and finish the strike now? Yeah, yeah. Go, go for the for the head chop. Yep. Okay, so you slice off her head. Her head goes flying, and then shh, uh, besides her hands, the the rest of her body goes turns into ash. What did we? What did the sheriff want? Left or right hand? The left. Left. Okay. <laughs> okay. You look at your own hand like, oh, okay. uh, <laughs> this, this seems to match. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, so grab, grab the left hand. And we'll keep going. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you kind of, you you see that there is a a side door. Um, like it keeps it keeps either going down this maze or there's a side door that that's just right there in in the hallway. Which way do you want to go, Jerry? What do your elf eyes see? <laughs> there's any anything I can see from here? Uh, you don't see any auras or anything. Yeah. Mm. I would say take the side door. Okay. That's what I would choose. Sounds good to me. Anybody else? Or do we want to split up? Eric and Anna, do you guys want to follow down this way? And Jerry and I will go down uh, the yeah, other let's way? Yeah, uh, get it done fast, nice and quick. Okay. <laughs> so hey, with uh, Eric, Eric... did you Eric, did you want my uh, my cane sword? If you're not going to use it, I'll take it, but I got... Yeah. <laughs> the MP5s? <laughs> Man, I got MP5s. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Hey. 
Anna, just so you know, the, the the way that this place is set up is it's literally like a haunted house attraction. So they got like animatronics of like skeletons and other beastly things that are like popping out. So I mean, even though you're a you're a vampire now, how, how does <laughs> how does all this this, this stuff? Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's not my cup of tea, but so you'll let Eric go first. I guess... <laughs> no, no, I can. I I want to. I want to. I want to help them out, but yeah, so, uh -huh. I might scream in the process. Okay. <laughs> just, just, just as you say that, a, a animatronic of like a demon face jumps out of the shadows at you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's slowly rejects. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can I pull out my sword and just cut it? Already and destroy it. Yeah, yeah. you just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the animatronic like kind of fall breaks down to the side and. <laughs> Jesus. You even scared Eric. We get jump scared. She's gonna slice you up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't scare her. <laughs> uh. Okay. So. Damien and Jerry go into into that room. Yeah. Okay. So you go into the room and you can see like this area is kind of like a a locker locker area. So it's got like lots of costumes and makeup stations and, and stuff. Uh, in here, you you don't um, you 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 don't hear anybody or anything uh, as you can. As you kind of continue forward, you see that uh, it wraps around to another side door. Okay, keep going to the side door, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll take a break from that real quick and go back to uh, Anna and Eric. <laughs> As you guys are continuing down the maze, you come into a room, and inside this room, there's uh, a whole lot of uh, mannequins dressed up as like clowns and stuff and some of them have machetes and I hate clowns <laughs> and 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 such i mean and we could tell what's a fake and real right right mm -hmm. right what can this sword what, what her sword does it doesn't detect i can tell you that yeah it doesn't uh anna or eric actually both of you go ahead and do an awareness roll Okay. I mean, if you really wanted to, Eric, you could probably just like, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just start lighting up. Just open fire on the room. <laughs> it's like rock around. Can you buy some ammo? So. <laughs> investigation, right? I think, yeah, investigation plus awareness. Oh, wait, no. It has to be one of the, one of the attributes. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what? What? It's one of the attributes plus the skills. Uh, awareness is one of the skills. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Awareness plus, so intelligence plus awareness. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Where are you, Where? <laughs> oh, Anna, that's a good It's not very good. No. <clears throat> All right, Rocket, let's do this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rockets, Rockets just looks at Aaron, all the. You're supposed all the... to help me out here. Yeah. <laughs> Anna, did you Anna, did you add your uh, your like your owls and, and whatnot to that roll? Uh, no, just the onk. I think it, can I can, can I use yeah. it for mental? Yeah, because that's intelligence. Yeah, that's yeah, mental. Yeah. yeah. So so Eric, when you tried to have Rocket look around, uh, he, uh -huh. he he just looked around the room and saw that it was full of mannequins, and he's like, ah, ah, and just hide <laughs> it into your backpack. <laughs> uh, uh, Clowns, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it looks like it's like this is scary. Yeah. <laughs> nope. 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 Okay. I don't like it. So, do any of you want to do a reroll, or...? Well, Anna didn't add in her bonuses. Oh yeah, Anna, go go ahead and add in your bonuses to that. Do it again! No. Nope. <laughs> <Same thing. laughs> so, this this room seems completely creepy, and you, you just decide to go forward. As you decide to go forward, one of the clowns all of a sudden comes to life and jumps in front of you going ah, Slice it up! Slice it up! Slice it up! <laughs> <laughs> and he 
you see him swing his machete at you, Eric. Defense roll. Hmm? Right, Eric, you you dodge out of the way of of the the machete. Okay. Uh, retaliation. Anna uh, or F- Eric. MP5. <laughs> you MP5 him. <laughs> MP5. All right. Oh, firearms and composure. Yeah, firearms plus composure. That's plus to three. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you light that guy up, and he he takes the bullets, and then he falls down on the ground, and just kind of he goes into a state of torpor. Yeah. <laughs> Anna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Anna, behind you, you hear. <laughs> <laughs> you see another clown with with a with a machete. Um, okay. But since they they kind of already uh, he already went, I will actually give you the chance to whoosh, on the guy. Okay. Nice. So you do. Do you do the same thing Damien was doing? Cut yeah. off the, so yeah, he, he he raises up the machete and then you just go whoosh, and then, <laughs> <he's> like ah! <laughs> you go in for the final kill. Yeah. Well. So mm-hmm. you take off his head and But well, that's the head the hand. She she got the hand first. Oh, okay. She cut off the hand and then she went in for the kill. Alright. Back to Damien and Jerry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you hear the muffled gunshots come from the, the maze, uh, and then you hear something fall over in the next room behind the door that you just found. Okay, go oh, through. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you open up the door, and you can, si- you can see that this is kind of bigger, like, kind of warehouse area. You can see that there's a bunch of props and animatronics just kind of hanging out, kind of in storage here. And you, you see a... A younger-looking person uh, uh, had knocked over some stuff, and he sees you, and he starts running away. Um, I pull up my uh, handgun and try to shoot, shoot at one of his uh, legs. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so, composure plus firearms. Okay. A difficulty of uh, two. We'll say two against this, this smaller one. Got a moving target? Mm-hmm. So handgun plus two plus three. Nice. So yeah, you shoot you shoot out his ankles and he just sort of goes flat skidding across the floor. Oh. Like, <laughs> 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 what do you do? Huh? Well, I'll walk over and uh, and cut off his left hand. Oh, jeez. It's <laughs> <So you go, laughs> like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and then put him out of his misery. <laughs> you kill him. From his screams, you see three vampires come around the corner. And they they have uh, knives and, and uh, uh, machetes and, and such. Uh-oh. All right, let's go. You let's do this. Let's dance. <laughs> <laughs> Since Jerry Yo, already went, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed the father. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> Since Jerry already went, I'll let you go, Damien. Uh, this time, difficulty of four. Oh, <laughs> never mind. So, Please. hand, <laughs> hands and heads. <laughs> so you, yeah, the one vampire came charging at you, and you do a quick little slice of his arm, and then slice of his head, and he just <laughs> turns into dust, and the dust flies on you. <laughs> and I don't feel like coming blade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Anna and Eric, uh, as you guys progressed further into the maze, you see that it came to an end with an exit door that goes into the alley, or another door. I look outside? Uh, you look outside and you see it just goes into the empty alley. 
I go back inside. <laughs> you do that door? Yeah, Anna, yeah, you, you, you turn that door? Track, yeah. yeah. So, Anna, you open up this door and you see that it leads into this warehouse and you heard Jerry's gunshots going off. Mm-hmm. And you can see the silhouette of some people running towards the, the gunshots. What do you do? Um, go out and, and help the guys out. So you, you follow after those silhouettes? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Do you two come and you, you just see Damien <laughs> uh, <clears throat> obliterate this, this vampire with, with him uh, dust flying into his face. Uh, you see that there are two vampires uh, left hanging out right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So attack. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. But, oh, wait. Hold on. The sheriff said mentioned six vampires and three more. Potentially okay. three. Three more. Uh, Potentially child. three more. Uh-huh. Okay. Good. So we have three, or we killed three already. Four. In the maze, Four? three have been killed. Jerry killed one. Four, uh, Damien killed one, and th- and then no, there's there's uh, there's one right there, and then there's two two of the yeah, childlings. I've, yeah. yeah, I've killed two, mm-hmm. and everybody else has killed one. Yeah. Okay. Five. Okay. So before you, um, you see there's still three vampires left. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I can't attack all three of them. I want to. I have to yeah, attack. Yeah, you have to attack one of them. Right. Okay. I'll take the so one that is, the one that is closest to me. Okay. That that'd be one of the childers. So okay. you go after that one. The difficulty will yep. be three. Okay. So how do you do it exactly? He doesn't notice you at all. <laughs> he doesn't notice me? Nope. He's he's fixated on on what's happening with the battle with Damien. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll come from behind and I'll sever his head. You don't want to get Oh, hand. sorry. Sever his, his hand. His left hand. <laughs> he's like, yeah, get him, get him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> And while he does that, I'll cut his head off. All right, then he just goes into ash. Eric. Okay. Uh, my MP5 again. <laughs> Are you going after the childer or the uh, the older vampire? Older vampire. Okay. Difficulty of four. Okay. Hey, I have the laser sight. Should be more accurate. <laughs> Gives you pl- that's why it's plus three. Uh, oh, okay. There you go. There you go. So you you shoot the the, the big one in in the back so many times that he just uh, falls over in, into a state of torpor. He falls flat on the ground. I got my like, skinny knife. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, you see the that that child there is left, and uh, he he turns around and he sees what you did, and so he comes after you, Eric, with a knife in hand, going. Ah! Ooh, knife fight, huh? You want to do that? <laughs> Throw we'll knife fight. Difficulty of three. Three. Come back to me. No. Uh... Four. <laughs> so you go. Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> you block that attack. All right. New round. Who wants to go first? You just see this child there is left. I use I go for it. Go. You want to go, Damien? <laughs> you can go then, yeah. Go. So he's he's engaged with Eric right now. So you come up behind him. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Surprise! 
Uh, I feel like so, <laughs> arm as as he's about to raise his his knife again to hit Eric. You just go, <laughs> cut out, cutting off his arm and then going for his head. He's dead. So all these vampires are dead, and then you hear uh, some scuffling coming out of a a locker uh, up against the wall. I shoot the wall? (laughs) (laughs) From a locker? Alright, so go check inside the locker. So you open up the locker, and you see that there are two young people in there, and you recognize the the kid that the second inquisition was going after earlier is inside the locker with uh, with another kid. How do you know me tell you to go to Sub Pop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's here. Who gave you an order? I yeah, I I I had to I had to see my friend Tony here. <laughs> well, you Tony's found him. here. Yeah. So the next the the other kid is is Tony. I so want to cut his head off. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. They're both kids? So they're both yeah, like, what, they're both, 16? Yeah. Teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, these people are the ones who turned us. Hmm. Yeah. Well, aren't you happy they're dead? I, I mean, um, I guess. Really, are we supposed to kill... We're, aren't we supposed to kill everybody here? <laughs> yeah. You said kill everyone, take their hands. Do you want to kill these kids, though? But he says he knows the hands, though, so I don't know. I, I mean, actually don't but I don't think we should. Is there some place to take him somewhere where they? <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, we can send him. I mean, we can take him to. We can take him to cook. Is there a daycare center? Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So, you, from what I noticed, you guys are taking their hands. Yeah. To, to, to the job. Proof? How about this? How about this? We'll cut off our hands, give them to you, and we'll just leave the city. They're just regenerating. No, I don't believe you. (laughs) No, we'll see you again somewhere. I don't believe you because you lied to us before you came here. I I feel personally offended. I told you I needed to find my friend. I don't care. Did I, didn't I tell you what to do? Didn't I give you an order? You did, but I thought I thought what'd it would be do? best. And what'd you do? I thought it would be best to come back to my friend and and, and bring him along because these these people these people turned us against uh, against our will. Or wait, he, gonna... he, he turned he turned Tony against his his will. I wanted to get him out of here. Should we take him to the prince? I think no. it's better to take him to the prince to the sheriff or to the prince. Oh, why? <laughs> why? They will know do they what really to do. Need... Yeah. Let's at least, I mean, give him a chance to, like, actually, like, survive. And just send him to cook. He's 16. He's not going to survive. That's why you send him to cook. You don't need to send him to the prince. The prince and the sheriff are just going to be like, okay, kill. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Here, here's a mission for you. Bye. <laughs> Or they're just gonna kill him once they. Or they're just gonna kill him when they get there. Look, what could Cook do to help them? Uh, He helped us. Yeah. That was his job. Um. That's kind of what he does with fledglings. Hmm. I mean, Annie, you could probably talk to the prince and say for a favor, for a favor, right? They they were pretty adamant about what happens. <sighs> Damien's kind of on the right track here. He'll just straight up kill them. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna come back if we let them free. We're gonna see them again somehow. I think so too. I I promise you. You you cut off our hands. We'll we'll leave. We'll go to Portland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a better place to go. Like that's They're gonna, gonna go to Portland and join Antifa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna like worse. die before they get there. Worse. Maybe the second expedition will find them and kill them. Please, yeah. let us go. Yeah, there are, he was gonna about to die anyway, so. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's an extra. You guys, you guys heard, you guys heard my, my two cents on that. I say we just, you know. 
Take them to take them to cook. Can vampires be slaves? Technically, yes, if they are blood bound. Like what happened to? There's a, a slave right there. <laughs> I mean, Nate probably, probably turn them into slaves. Yeah, give, let's give it to Nate. See what he wants to do with them. Mm, just so you know, that will look pretty suspicious to the prince if he ever finds out about this. Oh, is that bad? Because they are kids. Yeah. Oh, they're adults now. <laughs> Like I said, just let's just take them to cook, like cook, teach them how to be vampires, and then, then they can leave the city once you know we know that they can take care of themselves. That's my vote. Yeah, I'll say either take them or just kill them straight off. You gotta choose. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's I choose the first vote. option. Take take them to cook. Okay, that's two two votes for taking them to cook. Take them to cook. I don't care. Three votes. I don't care what I don't care what happens to these kids. Okay. At this point. <laughs> so that's your decision. Yeah. All four of you immediately get one humanity point up. Hmm. Even I get one because I don't agree with this decision. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't get one. If you go, if you go along with it, yeah. Okay. We need to add a humanity point. Yep, it goes yeah. up by one. Another pip. Which is a uh, box? Yeah. Which is yeah. Oh wait, wait. What? Where's Nate in all of this? He just <laughs> He's left... somewhere else. <laughs> He's still at the D thing, remember? <laughs> oh, that's right. He was with Chris Perkins. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. I They're forgot. D and D and D. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Playing D and D. Playing D and D with Chris didn't yep. invite us. Yeah, nope. <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> he doesn't get a penthouse though. Oh uh, yeah, he doesn't get a penthouse. Yeah, he gets his That's own. That's all right. He's got. He's got his school he's, friends. He's got, got, got half doors. <laughs> he got a half doors place. So <laughs> I think ours is better though. Yeah. He has roommates so. now. So. Yeah. So okay. So you take them to cook first, or do you want to take the hands? Let's take them to cook, cook first. first. Yeah, get yeah. rid of them. Okay. I'll float them. So oh, they can regrow, don't they? Yeah, they can regrow. That, that's why he was offering. Yeah. Take the hands. Oh well, I just, yeah. Well, I just mean we'll take their hands off, and then we'll take them to cook. He's like, okay, cut it off. Oh. Who wants to cut it off? Yeah, who does it? <laughs> who has a sword? Oh, okay. I don't have a sword. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I mean, I got a shotgun. I can blow it off. <laughs> I'm obliterated. You need the evidence. <laughs> no, I shoot the arm off. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Shotgun will do it easily. Right. So you take their their arms off. Uh, they bleed. They cover it up. Uh, you go back to Sub Pop, and you uh, you find Cook. Yep. You knock on his door, and he goes, "Hello." Oh. Who are these people? So, <laughs> we were on a bounty hunting mission uh-huh. by the prince uh-huh. and taking out some uh, some vampires who were illegally siring children. Oh, okay. Uh, these two were one of them. We happened to know uh, dipshit here. We, we sent over to you when we saved him from the second inquisition. Oh. <laughs> and he decided to disobey and go over and find his friend, Tony, here. And that's where we, when we found them there. I so see. instead of just killing them, because obviously they were kind of innocent and in all this, they were made against their will, we figured we'd just bring them to you. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of them. I'll, I'll take them off your hands. Come in. Uh, hands. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, we already took bare hands, so. <laughs> you can have one hand, we'll take the other. You know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. You <laughs> can't just look at you it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you can see their stump. They're holding their stump. Yeah. They're holding. Like, okay, I'll, 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 I'll take care of this. And so, yeah. 
So. And then we head back to Smith Tower. Okay. The sheriff. So you go back to Smith Tower and you find the sheriff and you have. So there is six, six normal vampires and then the other, the other sheriff. So. The kids. So, what was that, eight? Well, there was eight. Yeah, eight of them eight in total. total. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> bringing, bringing them to the Nosferatu sheriff. He says, did you do it? Here, need a hand? <laughs> <laughs> so, he looks, in, he looks in the bag and sees all the hands and brings them out and examines all of them. He's like, well done. And he hands you... Each uh, eight thousand dollars. <laughs> Each eight thousand. <000? laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. It's a bounty. <laughs> Each wow. person. Wow. Yep. I want to buy something. Sorry, I was talking to my roommate. What did I miss? You oh. get eight thousand dollars. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah that's apparently what the bounty was. Yeah. Okay. He said one thousand for every hand. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I, I didn't, didn't hear that part. Person. Oh, you didn't hear that part? <laughs> no, I didn't now hear the thousand for every hand. <laughs> I, I, heard, I heard a thousand. Yeah, I heard a thousand per hand, but that's I didn't it. hear the thousand <laughs> per hand. I heard a thousand. Oh, oh, so oh only getting yeah. a thousand dollars. That's a thousand dollars, huh? Yeah. Not used to the, the amounts that we get here. I'm used to the D&D &D amount. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, we have well, to fight was, tooth and nail yeah. for, you know, for 2,000 gold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was, yeah, I mean, if that was a thousand per hand, but that was going to be split, but. Yeah, that's uh, a split enough. I, I don't care. That's, but, I want to get money to buy something. <laughs> Getting too rich now. I know, right. 13 grand, just like, yeah. Especially when you're carrying around cash. I, mean, come I on. know. It's <laughs> got bills. It's got ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, that's how the <laughs> RPG game works. You just carry so much cash. You don't have like gold coins or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't have like, a lot of cash in my coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, have you met my friends, Benjamin Jackson? And <laughs> Here's a George Washington. <laughs> So he he says, uh, well done. If you're looking for another job at any time, come see me. I will have more. Really, do you know where money doing Do you know hunting. where you could spend all this money? <laughs> it's a city. <laughs> Wherever you want. <laughs> okay, what so for this whole session, I will give you guys nine experience. Ew. 